Welcome into Tiger Stadium. We are live here tonight for senior night against White House. Uh, bef before the game takes place, we will have our second senior night uh, here for uh, clubs around Texas High. And uh, so we'll turn it to the field and uh, let them announce all these kids. And uh, we'll get right back with you around kickoff. Students representing the best band from Tigerland are Marco Aguilar, escorted by Maria Rogel and Mario Aguilar. Ethan McDaniel, escorted by his parents, Ellis McDaniel and Audrey Thoreau. Grace, Gracie Jaden Neal, escorted by Sharon and Tommy Neal. Angel Paz, escorted by his mother, Angelica Henry, and his sister, Julietta Paz. Jackson Robertson. Supported by his parents, Ashley and Jeffrey Robertson. Andrew Womack, supported by his parents, Melinda and David Womack. Hunter Yates, 
escorted by his parents, Melinda and Brad Yates. Representing Tiger Band and THS Color Guard are Kayla Anderson, Color Guard Captain, escorted by her parents, Debbie and Johnny Anderson. Alyssa Green, escorted by her parents, Alicia and Jeff Green. Destiny Henderson, escorted by her parents, Desiree and Corey Henderson. Evangeline Norton, escorted by her parents, Crystal and Tommy Norton. Makaya Wade, escorted by her stepmother, Jamie Klein, and her father, Mike Wade. Students representing Tiger Cheer and Leadership are Mackenzie Loudermill, escorted by her mother, Tisha Matlock, and her grandmother, Ruby Matlock. Allie Moore, escorted by her parents, Amanda Moore and Joseph Moore. She is also in publication. Annie Powell, mascot, is escorted by her parents, Margie and Jim Powell. She is also in publication. Alyssa Smith, escorted by her mother and stepfather, Tim and Robert Smith. -Sin. Madison Tolson, manager, is escorted by her parents, Mindy Tolson and Tim and Timbo Tolson. Seniors representing cheer escort crew and leadership are student body president, John Thomas Borwitz, also representing Tiger Vision, and escorted by his parents, Julie and John Thomas Borwitz. Cheer escort captain Daniel Lee, escorted by his parents, Allison and Dalen Lee. Christopher Jennings, escorted by his parents, Mindy and Brian Jennings. Noah Hampton, escorted by Shelly Bryant. Owen Young, escorted by his parents, Evelyn and Scott Young. Seniors representing the Texas High High Steppers are Lizzie Devonport, escorted by her parents, Brandy and Dan Devonport, represents drill team, leadership, and publication. Emma Giddings, escorted by Linda Myers and Pam Giddings, represents drill team, publications, and leadership. Lydia Horton, escorted by her parents Tiffany and Jared Horton, represents drill team, publications, and leadership. Reese Langdon, escorted by her parents Kim and Brent Langdon, represents drill team and publications. Savannah Leeds, Savannah Leeds, escorted by Joanna Leeds, represents drill team and publication. Ellie Mana, escorted by her parents Aaron and Jeff Mana, represents drill team and leadership. Lauren Robertson is escorted by Sherry Robertson and John Robertson. She also represents drill team. Shelby Ross, escorted by C.L. Ross and Debbie Ross, represents drill team. Ava Simpson, escorted by her parents Heather and William Simpson, represents drill team and leadership. The following students represent leadership. This group hosts homecoming, senior night, pep rallies, and goodwill gift exchange, as well as planning spirit days, Spirit dress up days throughout the football season. Lake and Austin, escorted by Scott Austin and Levi Austin. She is also representing publications. Marley Bledsoe, escorted by Mark and Keely Bledsoe, 
also represents publications. Madeline Bixler, escorted by her parents, Kelly and Brian Bixler, Bixler also represents publications. Dallin Bristow, escorted by Wendy Bristow. Kaylee Derrick, escorted by Robin and Ryan Derrick. Monica Garcia, escorted by Margarita Garcia Lopez, also represents publications. Julia Greer, escorted by Karen and Adam Greer. Sky Johnson, escorted by Wanda and J.C. Howard. Joseph Haynes Stewart, escorted by Paul Stewart, also represents publications. Kenzie Jones, escorted by Amanda and T. Anthony Jones, also represents publications. Tiara Martin, escorted by Lilarial and Delarial Martin. Bella Murdoch, escorted by Brad and Stephanie Murdoch. Emma Prince, escorted by Tracy and Brad Prince. Decavion Rivera, escorted by Jessica Starling and Daylon Gray, also represents publications. Catherine Sandifer, escorted by Kim Sandifer, also represents publications. Ned Sanifer, escorted by his mother, Lynn LaRoe. Anna Schultz, escorted by Robbie and Sasha Schultz. Ava Smith, escorted by Dan and Justin Smith, also represents publications. Students representing photography and publications are Lexia Bond, escorted by her mother, Kathy Beard, and her stepfather, Brian Beard. Allison Arnold, escorted by Cher Olivia. Tierra Duke, escorted by her mother, Iana Dedman, and her sister, Shakia Dedman. Brandon Guerin, escorted by her parents, Marty and Joe Guerin. Jackson Holton, also representing leadership, escorted by his mother, Lindy Hatcher. Macy Maynard, escorted by her parents, Leanne and Derek Maynard. Brayden McKinnon, also representing leadership, escorted by his parents, Aurelia and Brandon McKinnon. The following students represent Tiger Colton Kreisel, escorted by Clyde Kreisel and Tony Norton. Dawson Moser, escorted by his grandmother and his father, William Moser. Shelby Tubb, escorted by her parents, Kat and James Tubb. The students wish to thank their family members for the love and support shown to them throughout their lives. They also want to thank the teachers and administrators at Texas High for the support they have been given. Texas High says, thank you seniors for your dedication and for sharing your talents with our community. In the spirit of goodwill and sportsmanship, Texas High students... Chicken Eyes, students these board of trustees voted unanimously during a board meeting to call a school bond election for White November 8, 2022. The proposal was developed to address long-term growth, aging facilities, and safety and security needs, as well as youth facilities. On 2022, we'll build one new elementary for 800 Would students existing in Pine Street Asia. property. Combining Spring Lake Park and Howard Park Elementary. Preposition 8 also includes a new 600 student Dunbar Early Education Center at Central District location. There will be the same number of seats in the district for pre-K early learning as kindergarten to meet students at the gateway of school. The last time a significant investment was made at Wake Village Elementary was in 1986. There will be a new front elevation with reconfigured main entrance and protective canopy from the main campus to the Tiger Learning Center. Proposition A would include the purchase of 18 new buses in order for the district to stay on regular replacement schedule. Election day for Texarkana ISD's bond proposal is Tuesday, November 8th. 
Early voting is October 24th through November 4th. And remember, go vote. Please remain standing for a moment of silence to honor all people affected by cancer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, as we are live here at Tiger Stadium at Grimm Park, where Texas High is getting set to take on district opponent from White House, the White House Wildcats. Uh, Eric Aiken, and I'm joined in the booth uh, tonight by none other than Decimal Doty. Good What's to be up? here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here for a uh, little pregame action as we get ready to uh, for this district uh, game tonight. Uh, Billy Lavender will join us tonight as uh, Brian Bolt is at home with his baby all snuggled up from what I understand. So I'm sure he's uh, enjoying that time. Uh, is it's going to be possibly a wet night, but so far, Zach, it's uh, missing us pretty well. Yeah, we, we expected a, a really wet night here tonight. Uh, Possibly like canceled games and everything. We know Pleasant Grove got moved to last night because of all that. So um, it is pretty dry so far. Uh, I think the Tigers do hope that it uh, picks up. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. As, uh, as we get you set for tonight, uh, White House, uh, just from film and the things that we've seen, uh, likes to go fast on offense. Uh, they're going to snap the ball as quick as they can and move it down the field as well as, you know, Texas High does the same thing sometimes as we're approaching 11 minutes until kickoff. But uh, White House likes to go fast all the time. And uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how that defense uh, holds up tonight for Texas High because I know sometimes they like to sub guys in and out uh, in certain packages, whether it's a nickel package or a dime package. Uh, so we'll see how Texas High adjusts. Yeah, stamina from our key defensive linemen is going to be a big deal with um, the way that White House offense is so quick. Uh, Brandon Childs, Ian Kreit, those guys need to uh, be – be in every play and if conditioning all year is uh, going to pay off right here um, and of course the cold weather is not going to help things with that either but yeah. um, we kind of hope the best for that and then secondary uh, really needs to play their best game here tonight as well uh, with uh, White House having such a good passing offense. You know and I, I had somebody ask me tonight as far as White House who are some players to watch and you know I, I just from what I have seen on film and everything, there's not just one standout player that just makes the difference in the game. Truly, they are playing as a team as they're seven and one. Uh, they laid an egg against Nacogdoches, uh, so that's their one loss on the season. Everybody coming in, they look at a record and they look at the numbers on paper, but we've seen that even last year. We saw that a lot, you know, coming into to Grim Park or Texas High or Tiger Stadium. You know, hey, this team looks better on paper, and then all of a sudden they meet that Texas high defense, and you throw the papers out the window because it's a different ball game when you come to Texas high. Had uh, breakfast this morning with somebody from Mount Pleasant, same thing. You know, those guys, they see orange, and they're like, well, this is a different level of, of football. And so it's going to be interesting to see with what we know and what we're going to see tonight, I think it's going to be two different things. At the same time, with that being said, you don't want to let that get to your head if you're a Texas high player. Uh, possibly saw, saw that last week against Nacogdoches, 23-20 game, yep. probably the worst game that the, 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 the worst game that the offense has had this season. Yep. Um, Potter had the two pigs. Two interceptions, yeah. only one passing touchdown, his lowest so far of the year. Um, only one receiving touchdown. Um, it... it it was the worst. And then, I mean, of course, Nacogdoches is, is that feisty team. They always give us problems. Um, so, 
I want to see how Coach Stanford got these guys ready for this week, picked them up, and uh, has continued to try and help them grow, especially out of the bye week. Because out of the yeah. bye week, it seems like it's been a little slow. Well, and, and I, you need a game like last week to keep you humble, number one. You come out with a win, but there's humility because there's things to work on. I think it helps you for a playoff run because you're going to be in tough games no matter what. You know, by the second or third round, if you're the number one seed coming out, you're going to be in some close games. And so for you to believe, hey, we've won a close game before, it's a mentality that you have to have. And so if in those games, I think it's a learning experience. Even though your record shows that you didn't lose, there's still some things that you can take away from that win uh, that can really help you in the future, uh, especially with a playoff run like Texas High is wanting to do. They're wanting to go. You know, Crosby moved up this year, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, the matchups. I'm hearing Lovejoy is, is really good, as well as uh, South Oak Cliff. Those mm -hmm. are kind of the two teams in our region that match up well with us. Uh, but who knows? It's playoff football in two weeks, and it's yeah. uh, the records go to zero and zero. And what you, you much were going on about of. Uh playing those close games. I was thinking about that uh, two weeks ago with Marshall yep. of how Texas High undefeated in district play the past two years, continuing it this season, have not truly had a tough game until it comes to playoffs. And so how do you get that? How do you prepare yourselves whenever it comes time for that if you don't have that throughout the entire year? And so this team has shown the most humility that I've seen in probably the last three years. And playing that tough game against Marshall, playing that tough game against Nacogdoches last week, and going to be a tough game here tonight, that just helps you build as a program. Uh, we've talked we talked earlier about in the year about just playing better teams in general. That helps build your program. But also playing tight games. And I think Coach Stanford, you know, preseason, he scheduled games that I think he expected to be a little bit tougher, uh, and they weren't. I know the first game was. I would love to see us play that team Two weeks later, I think it's a totally different game. I think Texas High comes out well on top. I think the environment of AT&T got to them. But once again, what we're talking about, it helps you later. So that's why you play in AT&T because, I mean, those guys walking away, hey, we'll be back in December because we want to be playing in the state championship game. But, you know, Tyler Legacy wasn't near what they thought they were going to be. Uh, of course, Benton, Louisiana, wasn't a bad team whatsoever. Texas High just had the depth and was able to take uh, control of that. Uh, as well as uh, Heritage, you know. Colleyville Heritage, yeah. yeah. Colleyville Heritage comes in. You know, they look really good, a lot of numbers, but, I mean, obviously we took care of them. As we see White House players are loading the tunnel. Uh, of course, nowadays half the kids are out in front of the tunnel before we <laughs> even get started. So, uh, But uh, waiting on all the players as well as the Texas High Tigers. Uh, the Tiger King's got everything set. Looks like he's got the – uh, I don't know if we're going to have smoke tonight, but I do see fire extinguishers now. <laughs> so we're going to have some kind of a smoke that's going to happen. But uh, looking forward to tonight's game because it's a big game because of uh, district championship. So Texas High can seal the district championship tonight. White House could seal a district championship tonight with a win tonight and a win next week. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what tonight holds uh, as Texas High plays, obviously, White House tonight, and they'll finish off with, at Pine Tree next week where White House is here tonight, uh, and then we'll uh, finish off, uh, I believe it's going to be uh, Marshall next week, who is no slouch. No, they are a great team. Uh, the number one thing I've told people over the last couple of weeks since Marshall, Coach Alvarez has got them playing really, really well, disciplined football. Uh, his numbers are very low. Uh, but I, I will tell you this, I saw kids with tears in their eyes as they're leaving because they love that man. And something's different at Marshall, and so they're going to be a team on the rise as the as the pregame uh, video gets started. And so we're about to see the Tigers running out. And uh, so as we see uh, White House, they're uh, saying a prayer there in the end zone. And uh, so we respect that very, very much as they're doing that. And so here come your Tigers. All orange tonight with the black tops. Looking good. I think that may be my favorite uniform, all orange. I'm still trying to get us to go all white like the Cincinnati mm. Bengals did earlier this year. That was a sick uniform. That's, so that's what we wore in AT&T, and I, I thought that was the, a beautiful uniform with the old Tiger T on it. Yeah. Uh, looks looks beautiful. Oh, um, Nick, Nick Reed, uh, also works for Texas Again Game Day. He sent me Tennessee's um, – uniforms for this week all black Ooh. blacked out helmet with a with an orange <laughs> yes. t on it i think that would be beautiful yeah. here yeah. uh here in tiger land yeah 
So once again, Eric Aiken along with Zach Doty as uh, we'll be joined by Billy La with Billy Lavender here in just a little bit as he finishes up the tunnel and doing what his responsibilities are as we wait the coin toss. Uh, tonight's captains are going to be John Jack, number 72, uh, number 42, uh, Taekwon Black, number 21, Alex Hines, and number 8, Xavier Dangerfield. That is it once again senior night part two here at tiger stadium and for white house uh looks like we're going to have number 10 hayden ross number five is going to be braylon jackson number two to carlton wilson and number 17 peyton blackman will be the captains for white house which uh to be a captain any uh at any game is to me it's an honor uh, that uh, a coach or your team would select you. And uh, so we'll wait the coin toss. And uh, as I always do, I have to spoil it for you. You know, most of the time these coin tosses are just uh, formality as they take place with a coach. Both coaches are present, but uh, they do this as a formality. <laughs> I got the chance to be at Pleasant Grove last night, and I was, uh, I was the on-field camera for there. And I got to hear the referee talk to him. And he was like, so this is what you're going to choose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was yeah. like, you don't really have an option. We already did all this. Yeah. He's like, you chose Tails. It just luckily happened to land yeah. on Tails. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like Texas High won the toss. And they're going to defer to the second half. And so the D, they're going to send the defense on the field first. So Texas High will kick it off as they will be once again on defense first. And kicking off for Texas High will be number 35, Trusty, as he took over the duties earlier this year and has done a phenomenal job of kicking for the Tigers tonight. Back deep for uh, White House is going to be uh, Jermon McCoy, and who is uh, number zero, and to Carlton Wilson, number two, as well as number eight, Ivan Lacey, who is their starting running back as well. So uh, as we are getting ready to get underway here at Tiger Stadium, and those of you that are keeping up with it, the World Series is on game one. Top of the second inning, score is zero Zero. So Verlander's on the mound for the Astros tonight. So most likely Cy Young out of the AL. Yes. So it'll definitely be a tough night for the Phillies. Yeah, absolutely, it's going to be a tough series for the Phillies because the Astros are really, really good oh, this yeah. year. So I hadn't lost a game in the postseason yet. So that's pretty special. No. And so, folks, we're about to ready to get underway right here at Tiger Stadium at Grim Park as Trusty has it teed up. He looks both ways. And we are underway here at Tiger Stadium as the kick is going to land just out between the I and the T in the end zone. And so White House will take over at their own 20-yard line as Texas high defense trots on. A couple of guys to watch there. Middle linebacker Alex Hines as he'll rotate in with Tristan Powell uh, with the injury to Donnie Grissom, who's done for the season. And so Alex Hines is no stranger to that position as he played it several years, but they've been having him as a, uh, a defensive end as he's long, but he can play middle linebacker just fine. It's going to be a quarterback draw as Josh Green in at quarterback for White House. And as you see already, White House is going to go fast uh, tonight. And there he is right away, Alex Hines, playing that linebacker position perfectly. That's where he started out in, uh, in football, actually. That's absolutely so Green is going to get it out to McCoy as McCoy on the reception with a little screen, wide receiver screen pass. And it's going to be no game. Going to bring up third down and four as we are just 30 seconds into the game and it's already three plays in. Yeah, C.J. Brown shot Tez Wilkerson, saw that perfectly, read it, and uh, made sure to get no yards there for White House. Ivan Lacey in the backfield for White House as he goes in motion and they're looking – to Ivan, and he's going to be pressured. Green's going to be flushed out of the pocket, going to try to get it downfield. He gets it to number five, Braylon Jackson. Braylon's going to have enough for the first down and then some, going to be run out of bounds at the 45-yard line of the Tigers. Uh, his opposite, number five, Tim, uh, Tim Austin pushes him out of bounds. So going to go trips left as he's going to throw it once again to that wide receiver pass. Gets a great block on the outside as Wilson is able to cut it back inside and has enough uh, looks like it's going to be second down and one after the gain of nine on the play. Whew, I'm back, baby. Folks, just like that, Billy Lavender, the tunnel 
machine <laughs> is in the house. So Green gets the snap. Going to be a false start uh, on the offense as that White House offense tries to go fast. So going to back them up, make it second down and six on the play. And if you're the Tiger defense, you're thankful for that break. Absolutely. Had us ahead of the chains and, and uh, got a little penalty on them. That's exactly what the Tiger defense needed at that time. So, once again, going to be Josh Green at quarterback, Ivan Lacey at running back, and the receivers are McCoy Wilson and Jackson, 0, 2, and 5, respectively. As Green awaits the snap, he's the lefty, and he's going to be pressured. Yes, sir. It's going to be overthrown Boy. to Braylon Jackson. And, uh, he and Cry, he'll spend half his night in that backfield, and uh, he'll pressure some, some passes just like that, and, uh, and he, he's a disruptor for sure. Uh, Billy, I was reflecting on – a tweet from a f last year that didn't age very well, yes, and I didn't see one didn't this year. I didn't see them either. I didn't <laughs> so. see them either. We always look for those. Those are good to have. Yep. Sometimes you got to manufacture them if you need them. Yeah. So going to send number 13 in motion, Barron. Barron's going to go out to pass as Green yes, is going to be sacked in the backfield right at the tee for a major loss. They're going to bring up fourth down and 11, and I look to see White House punt it to try to pin the Tigers Man, deep. Mr. Black was in his face and in his chest, and, uh, you know, you go from – it's it's a little penalty, you know, second and one, mm -hmm. and uh, and it puts the Tigers in a good spot, and, uh, and they hold on D. So, number 82, Bo Benson, as in B-E-A-U-X-O. Oh. My man, Bo, got to be oh. from Louisiana. Got to be. So, Bo Benson in the punt for White House. As it's going to be, trying to see who's in deep like for D the. like Hall, maybe. Yep. Brandon Hall in deep for the Tigers. And he's going to let that ball roll. And it's going to take a Tiger roll. So, it's going to be down inside the 20-yard line, down at the 18-yard line. Actually, Keith Lewis, I think, for the Tigers is who that yeah, was. Yeah, it's going to be Keith Lewis, number nine. And uh, so going to be first and 10 as Potter struts on. And we were talking about pregame. I think Potter's going to try to bounce back from that two interception performance. And, you know, uh, you're, you're getting ready for tonight, and you're thinking a lot of run and everything. It's going to be pouring down rain, and it's a beautiful night. It's a great night here at Tiger Stadium. So all you folks that stayed home because of the rain, hey, get in your car and come on out. We'll, we'll be right. here a while, I promise you. <laughs> so, so it's going to be Johnson on the carry as he's going to take it up. The right side of that offensive line, and he's going to have a gain of one. I'll call it two, be second down and eight. If this was in, in Dallas, people mm -hmm. would be saying God wanted to watch his Tigers tonight, right? <laughs> hey, I think God still wants to watch the Tigers. There you go. So he's still trying to get make sure Billy doesn't have a heart attack Woo, up here with me because no you're sweating. No doubt. <laughs> and it's a cold night. So Potter going to step to the line. Get, everybody's got the call. and It's going to be Johnson in the backfield. Potter back to pass. He's oh, got a nice man, pass. and he's got he's got Dangerfield across Boom. on the slant route, and he's going to have plenty for a first down and then some as it's going to be out to the 40, 41-yard line of Texas High. Call it the 43. A saving tackle by Jermod McCoy for uh, look like. So first and 10 for the Tigers at their own 43-yard line. Shows blitz. It's going to be Johnson. Oh, He's going to cut. dance his way and make a great cut, as Billy said there, and uh, going to bring up second down and six. John Jack got out in front of him, and uh, and he was able to just kind of weasel his way around, and uh, the, the defender didn't want any, I don't think. So going to bring up second down and eight. Apparently I can't count tonight, so. It's all right. <laughs> a little rusty. It took the week off last week. That's so. Right. Man, what a what a great picture by Texas County Game Day and Tiger Vision. Always got good camera angles over here and uh, got the clock up. And they don't even need us, Eric. What do you expect, Doctor A? He's got it, he's got it happening, you know. Johnson once again on the carry as they are wearing that right side of that defense out tonight. Brings up third down and long. Really good tackle for uh, for White House by Peyton Blackman. It's a little update on the World Series. Houston 1-0 on Houston Philly. Houston Astros just hit a big home run, so it's one nothing up on Philly in game one. So if you're an Astros fan, you got to love that. So it brings up third down and seven on the play, 728 and counting here in the first quarter. Potter gets his offensive line set. Looks like Richard, Richard Jackson making sure everybody understands where we're, what count we're going on. So going to send Johnson in motion. And he actually sent him in motion, didn't he? Yep. 
Back to pass, to but he is going to be sacked as that defense Ooh. is brought down, and it looks like uh, that got a little bit personal there. Boy, we took it out on the referee yeah. right there. Yeah. He's trying to get over there and help David J. and uh, kind of ran into one of our guys. But uh, I don't think he and Richard Jackson met a little bit uh, too close there tonight. Yep. So. That's a coverage sack right there. Uh, so, and I wouldn't want to meet Richard Jackson anywhere. So, no. I don't know what the referee was thinking there. So Knox Pilgreen out tonight. So, yep. Dangerfield will be doing the deep snapping yep. uh, for the Tigers. I had uh, heard this week, I talked to Knox's grandmother. I saw her out. Uh, in town this week, and uh, she told me he had gotten a little banged up. Great. So, going to be a false start there uh, in the backfield. Going to be on number 26, Tristan Powell. Yeah. As good call. It's a good good snap by Dangerfield and good kick, and we'll just try it again. Yeah. Hey, you just need to practice there. So well, hey, we, needed, we needed more room. Yep. Sometimes you need more room, and you can do it by a little penalty or, or two. <laughs> Been known to do that in the first quarter several times. But yeah, we, apparently we need more room in the yeah, first quarter than think, we do any quarter. I think they ran enough this week to, uh, uh-huh, to uh-huh. help some of that. Yep. So, uh, once again, going to gonna set it up as Trusty is in once again for the punt. He gets off a great yeah. punt as it's going to be fielded at the 32-yard line. Texas High Coverage team was there, but uh, – and uh, it's going to be Jermod McCoy on the return. Really good good job to getting around the edge, yep. and we didn't set the edge, and because of it, he gets an extra six, seven yards. T.J. Gray had a hand on him, but uh, couldn't quite force him out of bounds. So going to be first and ten for White House in Texas High territory. Ball will be spotted at the 45-yard line, and uh, see if that Texas High defense can uh, once again – Bend but not break with 6.01 left here in the first quarter. I just assume not bend at all. I agree with you. <laughs> so, going to be green in once again. He's trying to send his H back in motion. Apparently, the H back doesn't know what the play is. So, going to fake the handoff. Quarterback keeper straight up the middle as it creates two blockers in front of him. That's Ian Cried on the tackle. So, going to bring up, have a gain of four on the play. Brings up second down and four for green as the H-back and the running back. And going to go fast once again, hands it off ah. to Lacey. Lacey's going to break free and uh, get across the 30-yard line. C.J. Brown on the tackle, but but really good uh, really good cut. First cut was what did it. It's this the is, deepest always. This is what Marshall did to Texas High tonight. He's going to sling it deep, and he's got a man open, and it's going to be touchdown to Carlton Wilson you know, for White House. Tim Austin wants that one back. He was absolutely had the guy smothered, covered like Waffle House, and uh, and he gets down and, and just turns his head and stops moving his feet. And because of it, he's able to get five five yards behind him and score six. Score six, 527 left here in the first quarter as it's going to be Benson on for the point attempt after. And the kick is up. And the Ooh, kick is missed it. no good as he pushed it to the right. So with 527 left here at Tiger Stadium, Texas High Trails White House six to nothing. We'll be back right after these messages. We are excited to announce here at Texas County Emergency Center and Hospital that we have expanded our capabilities to better serve our community. As a hospital, we have the capability for inpatient services. After your outstanding emergency care, we can smoothly transition you into one of our new inpatient rooms that have telemetry monitors in every room to continue your concierge medicine care. While our patients continue receiving their care in their inpatient suites, we also make sure that your loved ones are taken care of with our outstanding facilities. Our added services include a procedure room and also the capability of MRIs. With our imaging, we are able to offer outpatient, inpatient, and emergency room, MRI, CT, ultrasound, and x-ray. We are honored by your support and look forward to serving all your future medical needs. Brandon Hall on the return for the Tigers. Man, what a, what, a, what a return right there. They tried to, a little, uh, just an angle kick at our up back. And you'll see the replay right here on the screen. And uh, 
And, boy, he gets it, and he just takes off around the end. All he needs is just a little bit of space, but some good blocking out here uh, by 32. That's T-ball, I believe. Yeah, 32 is uh, Tredarian Ball, the freshman, as Johnson going to be in at running back, Potter in at quarterback, and going to send uh, Dangerfield and Ball once again out wide. Going to hand it off to Johnson. Johnson's going to take ah. it outside. They're going to oh, try Brandon. to cut it back inside, but does Man. a great job. And uh, going to no. have a looks like we're going to have yeah, a hold. Yeah, they're going to get they're going to get Brandon Hall out there for for holding. He had he had his arms inside the numbers, but he just had a grab of that jersey, and and you can get away with that until that that play goes on the outside of you, and, and you catch you know you're caught yep. pulling, and uh, and sure enough, he <laughs> he had it from start to finish. Well, and uh, what I was told today is. Uh, White House tends to talk a little bit on the field. Huh. And, uh, so our guys are going to have to really stay under control uh, just emotionally and mentally yeah. uh, in this game and just to let some things – you just got to let things go. You can't just hold on to it. You know what I mean? Yep, it's the toughest thing to do is uh, when someone barks at you to not, not bark or bite back. And uh, But that's, that's discipline, and that's what you want your team going into the playoffs. You want them to be disciplined and, and do your talking – on that scoreboard sitting over there. Richard Jackson's had an active night already with trying to get snap counts and then throws a mouthpiece off back to White House's sideline. So that was entertaining. So it's going to be a – looks like we've got a false start on the play as uh, this high offense getting a little sloppy here. Yeah. Boy, that's what you can't what you can't have. Go down six and, and start going backwards, and now we've got first and Falk. Or Genoa. Well, somewhere out that way. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Miller County. Yeah. We know that for but sure. One, one thing's for sure is David J. Potter can throw it that far. So, yes. never yes. out of it. And yep. it's first down. See what kind of play. I'm maybe a little screen. So five, excuse me, four, 50 and counting. As he's going to get it to yes, Brandon Hall. As Brandon Hall made the mistake. But uh, he's going to help get a lot That's of it right. back. As it's going to be third down and three. Second down, second down. Excuse me, second down and three after the big game for the Tigers tonight, and you just said it. And that that thing's been open. Is that uh, that wide? You know, it's real. That's really it's just a slant. slant. And uh, and David's putting it on the money and, and hitting them in space and hitting them on stride. So brings up second down. Going to hand it off to Johnson. Johnson's going to take oh. it right up the middle and going to have plenty for the first down. Be first and ten at the ball is spotted at White House's forty yard line. And this drive started off a little sloppy, but it looks like Texas High has got it in gear now. Yes, and, and watch these receivers. Even on a run, these receivers out wide are blocking and holding their blocks, and it's going to be a physical game, and I like ours in a physical game. And I'm going to tell you, T.J. Gray blocking is pretty Man. dang special because he is one strong human Look being. Look at number eight out there, Dangerfield. You don't want none of him either. Yeah, he's just a big kid. I was I talking won't. Go ahead. I was talking with somebody before the game uh, that's here from another school, and he's like, he's a big dude. Oh, shit. So. Get, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, go. Go. He threw it backwards. Uh, they're going to say it's going to be an wow. incomplete pass. We got away with one there, Billy. Man. Woo. Here's the thing is that backward pass can't be thrown like a bullet because if, if it gets out of your hands, then uh, now you want to get it to him quick. I'm not saying that, but, uh, but, man, that thing gets on the ground, and it's – Katie, bar the door. You know, Billy, we were talking pregame. Uh, this is a big game for both teams tonight. This is Ooh, district championship is all over it. So, uh, got to win tonight. Across town, Liberty Island and Pittsburgh are playing tonight. And uh, that's a big game as well as its seeding implications. Mm -hmm. So, three and four seed. Who plays Carthage in first round and who doesn't? That's the big thing. Yep. As Potter gets it batted down at the line of scrimmage and that quick, it is third down and 10 for the Tigers with 344 left here in the first quarter. We're going back to the well again and, and going with what works. And uh, their defensive end was just able to get his hands up in Potter's face and, and get, a, get a piece of that ball. I wouldn't be surprised we get five or six yards. We might be in fourth down territory right here. I fully agree with that. Hooks and Decab in a uh, district championship battle as well as Hooks is beating uh, Decab right now. I bet we're going so, to timeout right here. So six seconds on the play clock. Five seconds we inside got to. play clock. And, timeout, uh, so timeout. He's going to call timeout. And uh, so with that, we're going to take a timeout with him with 344 left here. White House leads Texas High six to nothing. We'll be back in just a few moments.
We are excited to announce here at Texarkana Emergency Center and Hospital that we have expanded our capabilities to better serve our community. As a hospital, we have the capability for inpatient services. After your outstanding emergency care, we can smoothly transition you into one of our new inpatient rooms that have telemetry monitors in every room to continue your concierge medicine care. While our patients continue receiving their care in their inpatient suites, we also make sure that your loved ones are taken care of with our outstanding facilities. Our added services include a procedure room and also the capability of MRIs. With our imaging, we are able to offer outpatient, inpatient, and emergency room, MRI, CT, ultrasound, and x-ray. We are honored by your support and look forward to serving all your future medical needs. And we're back here at Tiger Stadium. Eric Aiken along with Billy Lavender. Brian Bolt has the night off. I'm sure he's listening to us, though. Well, you know what? We'll find out a little bit later. <laughs> he hasn't texted me or you. I'm really surprised by that, man. I, matter of fact, I think I might be offended tonight by that. <laughs> Don't be. So, hey, Crosstown got a score. Pittsburgh leads Liberty Yellow 7 0 in the second quarter. So back to passes. Potter. Oh, Potter tries over to Yes, sir. going to be a down. flag on the field, and that's going to be an automatic first, first down. down. That's, what, uh, that's what the Tigers needed right there, and if that guy just kind of stays off. But, you know, the thing is, <laughs> you give TJ a little space, and David. David J had that ball on the money, and uh, and he's he's going to hit his head on the goal post if he catches that. Well, the interesting part is, is that tells you he's watched film and coaches told him, mm -hmm. don't let him catch anything, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so. They've been doing it all night. Cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little inside joke. You'll have Billy to explain that one later. Yeah. Everybody will be calling in. Yeah, it's all about Ole Miss, you know. That's right. So, That's right. Which is, we don't even want to talk That's about That's a them, whole different so. show. Yeah, we know they were cheating. They were doing NILs before NILs <laughs> were even legal. So, <laughs> so. but uh, hey, we're excited to be joined tonight uh, here at Tiger Stadium. Uh, Pleasant Grove played last night mm -hmm. and uh, got a big recruit. Uh, uh, here in our area that's yeah. being recruited offensive Mr. line, Caleb Hackleman. Hackleman is joining us tonight, so we're oh. excited to have him uh, with us, and so we appreciate him coming over, and what that's I love about he and his family is it's all about Texarkana kids man. being successful. Man, so. I'll, I'll tell you, you see his, you see his dad on, uh, all he's doing is encouraging kids and, and teams, and, uh, and that's how it should be, and that's how all of us uh, should be in Texarkana is, yep. is rooting for everybody. And, I mean, it's different when L.E.'s going against Pleasant Grove, but, you know, for every other game, that's exactly how it should be. But, but great kid, big-time recruit. He's getting, I mean, getting offers from everybody and, uh, and great family. So, yeah. That's, well, when you're 6'12". Well, I mean, I mean you know. if I was 6'12", I would probably still be right here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. No, Caleb's a great young man, and so proud of him. And so here we go, Dangerfield on the – Thought we had a reception. That was probably going to be six, uh, but uh, just going to be overthrown a little bit. It looks like we're going to have a penalty flag. I don't know. I think it's a timeout. Got it? another timeout. Oh, it got it before the flag is what it was. Yep. So. so we'll keep it here for this one uh, as we just had a timeout. I feel like we've. We're just kind of running yeah, it back yeah. here. I don't and, know what the and, deal is. And speaking of Caleb, and I and, uh, went over and saw some of the Hawks last night, and, boy, they put it on North Lamar, man. They they cried uncle early, yeah. and uh, and it was good to see a bunch of kids get some action, and uh, I've seen a few of them here in the stands tonight. I think I saw North Lamar try to get on the bus early last night. <laughs> It was uh, it was amazing. Uh, so uh, at halftime, Hooks is beating Decab 14 to nothing. Jefferson ahead of Tatum 10 to nothing. Uh, last night, check this score out. Uh, Paul Pewitt beat Prairie Land 68 to 42. Wow. I don't know. I, tried me. Something. I thought it might be six man football that showed up man. over there uh, in Brahma Land. But uh, uh, once again, seven to nothing midway through the first quarter across town at Liberty Isle. Liberty Isle trails the Pittsburgh Pirates. And uh, so as we're back underway here, as Potter looks at to get the signal offensive line is communicating very very well uh, tonight as it's second down and 10 gonna fake it uh, fakes the pitch and gonna take it have a gain of three on the play as there was a hole there he took two steps and then the hole closed up 
man, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, it closed up, and if he would have looked and pitched right at the end, it was – it may have been six right there, but it's it's tough. He's trying to get as many yards as he can. Now we got a third down, and I'm thinking probably four down territory. Yep, so we're going to bring up three minutes left here in the first quarter. It's going to be third down and eight. Ball is at the 31-yard line of White House. I'm going to send Brandon Hall in motion. He's going to be back oh, he's to pass. getting held out there. And, uh, oh, great throw and catch. Pass. Yeah, oh. good good call. I think that ref finally saw it. But, uh, but man, uh, who is that? Uh, oh, that's number 12 out there, Jason Hubbard. He he ran kind of a out and down, and he got held on the cut. What are they calling? Let's see. It's going to be Brandon Hall as he, he was in and out of the hands of Hall. But it uh, looks like it's going to be defensive holding. Mm-hmm. Been doing it all game. We we had someone ask uh, how White House scored, and it was on a, a long pass down the left sideline earlier. Yep. So going to bring up first and ten after the penalty on the play. So brings up first and ten for the Tigers inside the twenty yard line. Excuse me, just outside the twenty yard line at the twenty one. So going to be first and ten for the Tigers. Two forty two left here in the first quarter. Tell you what I noticed on that play pre snap is David J looks out and takes somebody at the receiver off the line, and that's something a sophomore you don't normally see. So very headsy of him for us not to get a flag because of him. So going to hand it off to Johnson. Johnson's going to take it straight up the middle as we've yet to see Ball come in the game. Well, they... and and kind of kind of some insight on Ball is he got his knee cut pretty bad uh, last week, and it was just a it was from the turf, mm. and uh, and it was pretty deep, and uh, they hadn't they hadn't ruled him out, and like we say, he got in on a on a special teams, but uh, but hadn't seen him at back. The only back we've seen is Johnson so far, I mean, and normally we're running two or three out there at a clip, and. Uh... Time this out is defense. going to be the longest first quarter in the history of mankind as we're still yet to hey, get to the end of it. Sack as we of got lunch. Another you, don't, you, don't ever, you don't ever get home from Graham before midnight. That's the truth. But I can't wait till tomorrow because I finally have nothing to do on a Saturday. Except watch the Hogs at 11. I'm going to watch the Hogs. There you go. I'm going to watch whoever else game is day. There you go. I, I may have all the TVs nice. on and just, you know, nice. whatever. So Nice. But uh, You'll probably be out back feeding carrots to – Taco. Taco. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah. My wife, if you didn't see it, you got to just go check out social media. She is the most entertaining person That's in her house, cool. I promise you. Yeah, Taco. Yeah. <laughs> Carrots look good. She snapped one off and Taco came a running. Yeah, he sure did. That was cool. <laughs> it was very entertaining, let me tell you. Even when you're there filming yeah. it, you're trying not to laugh and be in the film, in the video. I'm, so, I'm seeing some TikToks out there with Taco mm -hmm. pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That dog. I mean, that dog. Well, he runs He runs like a dog with big ears, right? <laughs> he is. He is. Donkey. <laughs> People who just tuned in, there is a football game going on right now. Yep. We just had a lot of timeouts here in the first quarter. We're <laughs> acting like it's the fourth quarter when yeah. uh, it's the game's out of hand. 217 left here in the first quarter. Texas High Trails White House. David Potter. Uh, fakes the handoff, got a oh, man yes. across the middle. Oh, uh, good cut. Going to cut it back inside as Brandon Hall gets it inside the five, be first and goal for the Tigers. Man, looks like we're going to keep going back to that, back to that, back to that. And uh, end's going to run Taquan Williams. And I didn't see who the other one is. I think that's our Tiger package that we have. And I'm thinking we're going to run the ball three or four times, hopefully one. So it brings up first and goal for the Tigers. Ball's at the four-yard line. Is going to hand it off to Johnson straight up the middle. Looks like he's going to have a gain of one. Uh, looks like he might have lost a yard. Got to the so four. Went to the four. They're going to mark him at the five, five. so mm -hmm. lost a yard there. Yep. So it brings up second down and goal. Ball is at the five-yard line as we approach a minute and a half left here in the first quarter. Is as you stated earlier, may run it a lot here, but it looks like we've ran everybody back on, so yeah. going to have Dangerfield, Hall, and Gray in at receiver. Spread it out a little bit. May yeah. get a one-on-one -on -one out here with Dangerfield up the top. So going to back to pass. He's That's looking that wanted. direction. Stay in the pocket. And uh, going to 
Going to try to throw it away. Good. It does a great job. job of throwing it out he, on Summerhill Road. I was fixing to say, great job. You know, here's the thing. A lot of quarterbacks eat that ball or do something crazy because they don't want an incompletion on their deal. David J. ain't worried about stats. David J. wants to win. Mm-hmm. He gets rid of that ball, and now it's third and five. So, it's crazy because he literally just flicked that ball. So, minute three left here in the first quarter. And I know, folks, you're looking like 30-minute first quarter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Welcome to a Tiger football game where it takes forever. Mm -hmm. So third down and goal for the Tigers. Going to hand it off to Johnson. Fakes it. Going to get it to Brandon Hall. Brandon cuts it back inside. Touchdown, Tigers. Man, I'll tell you what. Great play call by Coach Toon and Coach Stanford. And uh, there's Paul Beard down on the horn. You can hear that on the screen. But, uh, but man, here we get a replay on the screen. We'll just – we'll just – Shut up and let you watch greatness right here. I'll fake the handoff watch to Johnson cut. and Whoop. then watch give that it to ball. Hall. Ball across the goal line. B Hall, just add oil. <laughs> They're going to be trusty in there for the appointed attempt after to give the Tigers the lead. Kick is up, Man. and after a bad snap, the kick is good. And so with that, Texas High leads seven to six with just under one minute left here in the first quarter. We're going to be back after these messages for more Texas High Tiger football. Life is busy and we get it. The State Bank mobile app was designed to make banking more convenient for you. Check account activity, make transfers, pay bills, and manage your debit card in a snap. You can deposit checks from the convenience of your home or wherever life lands you. The State Bank app lets you organize your accounts, manage alerts, and easily email our customer service experts. Now that you have State Bank at your fingertips, you can spend more time doing what's important to you. Your family, your bank, State Bank. Billy, we're back here at Tiger Stadium as Trusty gets set to kick off after the great drive by the Tigers. Kick is up. Going to be a shorter kick as it's going to be fielded and fumbled, and he's going to pick it up at the one-yard line. Give it a chance for that that, uh, Texas high. Stay contain, contain. Nice. uh, Does a great job containing and going to be brought down at the eight-yard line after uh, several missed tackles. And I'm going to tell you, Wilson, the Carlton Wilson is a little – He's a little scat back, and, if you will. And here's what you say, a shorter kick, but here's what it did. He got it way up high, and so the guy knows that uh, that those guys are coming down and fixing to nail me, and so it, it makes him kind of rush it. But good containment on both sides uh, of the Tiger special teams, and because of it, we got, uh, we got them inside the 10. So we're going to bring up first down and 10. Ball is spotted inside the 10-yard at the 7. And going to hand it off, but there's going to be a false start on the play. They've been doing it all drive. As we went to, <laughs> as we went to commercial, we, uh, you wanted to talk yeah, about I, the Yeah, I, I want to say something, something that won't go down in the stat sheet. Nobody will, will really see it, but uh, the, the snap was kind of errant, but uh, you got a, a backup quarterback in Worth McMillan back there, and he gets, he gets off his knees, catches it, secures it, puts it down, right as the foot is hitting the ball, and, uh, and great job by Worth McMillan. Good kid, young kid. Uh, and and got a heck of an arm at quarterback. So, first down and 15. Ball is at the four yard line of for White House of the Tigers. Oh. And uh, man, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this is gonna be a hard hitting game. Kenneth Merriman, boy, he he uh, he's no stranger to hitting folks. And uh, he saw an offensive lineman just kind of standing there, and he said, "Get out of my way! I'm going for the quarterback." So going to be green once again on the quarterback keepers. He's yes, going to, they're going to stretch that play out and run him out of bounds, and it's going to bring up third down for White House. Good job by C.J. Brown again uh, to keep containment because if he gets outside, he's gone. And, uh, and, man, good. You know, you're seeing a lot more discipline right now than you saw early in the first quarter. Got 19 seconds left in it. And we're still in the first quarter. Texas High leads 7-6. to six. The difference in the ball game is a mixed extra, missed extra point by White House as they like to go fast. It looks like they're slowing it down a little bit. Third down and eight as we await the snap. Green does back to pass. The lefty is back to pass. They set up a screen 
uh, as it's oh, going to be. Nice job. Uh, Lacey on it's the screen. It's going to be a fourth down. Really good job by Alex Hines to come up and uh, maybe C.J. Brown to make the tackle again. And uh, and because of it, you got fourth and one and a half, maybe a, a long one. We'll call it two, and it's going to go to the second quarter. They're going to have a decision on their hands. I don't think it's much of a decision. So that's going to be after a long first quarter. That's going to do it as we're going to head to the second quarter. Texas High leads seven to six as we'll return after these messages for more Texas High Tiger football. Man, all you're saying right here as we come back is uh, fourth and one, don't jump, watch the ball, because I don't think they're running it. They're just trying to draw us off, and uh, they're. I don't, uh, this is too big of a game for them to, to play this right here. Look they're just going to try to try to kick. draw us off, just be disappointed. Oh, my they're goodness. They're going to go for it. As I said. And it uh, looks like they're going to be run out of Ooh. bounds, as he's going to be smoked. Yep. Uh, but he's going to have enough for the first down, but what? he's going to remember that one for a while. Like I said, this is a big game, and you want to go for it right there. Is that what I said? No, yes. maybe I didn't. <laughs> uh, but, Gutsy uh, call. Yeah, it, yeah uh, it was, man. You can. <laughs> by Coach Westerberg uh, from – from White House. Also, there's a coach on the sideline from right here in Texarkana, Jason Hooker, uh, who oh, is a running Hooker's backs there? coach. Okay. And uh, so he's standing over there in the gray. He's the third coach from the left. Got him. And uh, so his son is on the team, plays oh, cool. safety for him. So uh, it's going to be number eight, Lacey, on the oh, carry. Man, and, uh, looks glad like Merriman's head wasn't in that helmet. He's going to have to come off. And uh, in Big 99, we'll just replace him with Brendan Shorter, who's a senior. And you don't lose anything right there. That's right. So, going to be – he needed a break anyway. He's got to clear his nostrils a little bit. Yep. So There's some of that red out of there. Yeah. So, he's going to be right back. Yep. Forced. So gonna patch be him up. Second down and eight. Excuse me. Second down and two after a gain of eight on the play as Green's going to get the handoff. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's going to be Lacey on the carry, but Lacey's going to wrestle his way and get one and maybe just enough for a first down. Yeah, no. And they're going to give it to him. Taquan Black, he's not going to get any credit there, but he was the one who got the penetration and, and put the first lick on him. And they're going to give him first down. Yeah, Referee hesitated there on that. Well, he was over there where their coaches could, could let him know what was going on and yep. call it for him. I was teasing one of our coaches earlier is one of the last times they wore these – these uh, rain jackets was in Nacogdoches. I remember. And when you stand uh, oh. by the down markers, you don't know where they are as he's going to oh. get it out to. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was around him. So, Wilson passes intended for Wilson. Yeah, Tim Austin got his arm around him, his left arm, and hooked him and didn't need to. But, uh, and, and you know, that that's that's something that, uh, that that he's coached on, and uh, and he's okay. We'll be all right. Get a first down. They had a first down. So 11.03 left here in the first half as it's going to be an automatic first down. Nice stash by the ref. Huh? He's been grooming that in no shave November. Well, I don't know what Wait, it's is. still October. Yeah, I know it. Oh, he's trying to get a head start. I, I see him. It looks like Ron Brundy or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is that the anchor man that's refereeing tonight? Burgundy. <laughs> yeah, Burgundy. Him, him too. Yeah, Both of Bur them. Burgundy, that's it, yeah. The first time they wore those jackets was in Lufkin. Yes, yes. So going to be first and ten. They're going to quarterback keeper once again as they have two blockers out in front. And uh, it's literally the same thing that Marshall did to yep, us all night exactly long. exactly right. And yes. I'm going to give a shout-out to number 56 on the offensive line, McCullough, who's a – man, they're going quick. Turn your head, turn your head. Good job. 
Pass is going to be incomplete as the pass was intended for McCoy. McCoy. Hey, same thing. They're, they pick, picked on Tim Austin, but uh, but he said, no, not this time. I'm going to stay with him. I'm going to get my head turned, have my arm on him, did everything exactly as Coach A.J. Wilson, the secondary coach, and, and uh, also D.C. Co-D.C. 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 with Coach Hawkins. That's right. So, going to send a man in motion as Barron goes in motion. Third and three. And it's going to be a false start. Number zero as the receiver. Update on the game that we're watching uh, here in the booth. Astros lead two to nothing, bottom of the third, with a man on first and third. Mm. So, so, uh, so no, they, people that are watching us don't even have to turn it over there. I know. We're just going to keep them updated all night long because okay. we love sports all night. here at Tiger Vision. Lionel yeah. Richie. All night long. So All with nine. one out here in the bottom of the third inning for the Astros. So Green, after backing it up, going to bring up third down and to him, seven. Alex. And uh, going to have a <sighs> great reception by McCoy after the penalty, but going to bring up fourth down, and you know they're going to go for it because they did earlier. So going to bring fourth down and inches That's on the play. quarterback draw right here. This is a quarterback draw. Load the middle. Green's going to come right straight up the middle, just off mm. to the left of the center, and he's going to have plenty for the it. first down as he gets a yard and a half on the play. And this is probably one of the longest drives that White House has had all year long as they like to go fast <laughs> with 10-18 Absolutely. and counting here in the first half. So it's going to be first and 10. Ball is spotted at the 50-yard line. This game's been in the trenches, hasn't it? Big time. It's a hard-hitting game as they're trying to wear out that Texas high defensive line as he's back to pass. He's got a man, but it's going to be overthrown as the pass was intended for Jamad McCoy once again. That ball was hitting the ground as we hit the receiver, and their coach is down near the 20-yard line wanting something. This is football. Yep. You can. We're not playing seven on seven tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But he's trying to get – I mean, he may get a call on down the line. So, bring up second down and 10. Ball is once again spotted at the 50-yard line. Safety with help right there, but good job uh, over on the top side. I think that was I think that was Stewart up top. So, the, looks like the referee's way off to the sideline of. He's talking to their coaches. Oh, we got a flag. Zero on the play clock. Yep. I dream a genie on the offense. So we're going to back him up. Brings up second down and 15 after the delay of game. But the interesting part is the official is over by the numbers on the opposite sideline, usually a little bit more behind the play. Yep. Uh, so I found that very unusual. So Might be better with his right eye. So brings up second down and 15. Green is going to be back to pass the South Paul. Going to be flushed out of the pocket, and he's going to go deep as he's got a man once again, and it's going to be caught wow. by number two to Carlton Wilson after a great acrobatic catch. Uh, and it's going to give him first and goal. Ball is spotted at the six-yard line of the Tigers. And Josh Stewart had great coverage on him, and I don't know how that ball slipped through Josh's hands out there. So brings up first and goal. Going to go back to their – they're running game once again that's worked all night. Ivan Lacey on the carry. Oh, we stripped the ball. Alex Hines. I don't think – yeah, the ref's looking for it. We got it. Oh, prior to the fall, Alex was doesn't down. – Let's see. Can we get a replay? Yeah. Hey, give me a replay on that. <laughs> we'll show that on the screen. So, they're going to reset the play clock. Is it's going to be second down and goal after what we thought was going to be a turnover for the Tigers in favor of the Tigers, but – once again, it's going to go back to White House. Going to hand it off to Lacey once again. And, and gets to the goal line. Get down to the goal line. Going to bring up third and goal. And you look for that once again, that quarterback run, mm-hmm. that quarterback draw like they've mm-hmm. been going all night, trying to go fast once again. Oh. Maybe an illegal shift or something? Yep. Yep. Man, I'm telling you, that's what that fast, trying to go really, really fast, 
And uh, and when you do that, you run the risk of going really, really fast and just needing a couple of inches and getting a false start. And when you do, it takes you back to now they're third and six. So third th and five and a hook. So they're going to be third down. Ball is spotted. Third and goal. Ball is at the six-yard line as you look for them to go four down territory as they've done that all night. If they'll do it down here inside their 20, they'll do it at the oh, goal absolutely. line as the rain picks up here at Tiger Stadium. Going to fake the handoff ah. as he's going to run up the middle. It's going to be touchdown White House. And I'm going to tell you, White House I don't think expected to do this well against mm -hmm. the Tigers. You can tell by their reaction when they score. Yeah, we just went with the went with the quarterback read right there and didn't stay with the quarterback, and he just had a sl slit right up the middle. So the point attempt after by once again Benson. Holder is going to be Norvell, a receiver. Kick is up, and the kick is good that time. So with 8.33 left here in the first half, Texas High trails White House 13-7. We'll be back right after this with more Texas High Tiger football. Go vote. 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 Eight thirty-three left here in the first half as White House is set to kick off. And I'll tell you, the rain, Billy, has really picked up, as we talked about earlier. Beautiful night. But uh, if it sets in, it's going to be here a while. Man, it's it's nice up here where I am, though. Yep. Nice <laughs> and dry. Yeah. I'll make a run from my truck a little bit later as the kick goes through the end zone. I'll go get your truck for you. Hey, I sure do appreciate it. So, hey, I look. may drive it home, but I'll go get it. <laughs> <laughs> so a little update. Uh, Astros. Mm. Jumped out to a big lead as it's five to nothing here in the bottom of the third for the Astros tonight. They're swinging the bat, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I'd like to see David Potter swinging the bat right here. Yes, big time. He's already he's got two home runs on there the night. There we go. So. T-ball first appearance. You see that? So look to with the rain picking up. Look to see uh, Texas High run the ball. But I can tell you that uh, offensive coordinator Clint Toon had plenty of buckets of water on the mm -hmm. field as every ball was wet all Man. week long. As he probably had soap in it as well. I'm telling you, I, I remember when when my son was was playing for him and uh, and man, I, I spent a practice out there and they they're dipping every ball and and uh, and and they make it tough on you. And so they're they're well prepared for this and won't be any shock. They've been expecting it all yep. week. So going to bring up uh, second down and five after uh, Gray on the carry. Excuse me, ball on the carry. I don't know why I say Gray. Uh, ball on the carry. Going to get it again. He's going to cut it back up inside as uh, the freshman, uh, once again, he's averaging six yards a carry. And you can see why he has already got an offer to U mm -hmm. UTSA. And I would imagine there's going to be many more offers coming. And, and number three for them, uh, Jalen Brandon, who's a senior, is down after the hit. But uh, – we hope he's okay, but uh, but what you can see is 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 this is what we've done to teams uh, is you know a, a three back rotation and uh, and we were just trying to hold T ball out and uh, and actually uh, Tristan Powell is having to play some some linebacker as well so uh, so we were kind of trying to looks like run Johnson the whole game but uh, but we're gonna get some we're gonna get some some action now some fresh legs. And uh, so I'm trying to see if he's going to get up. It looks like they're looking at maybe a knee injury here. And uh, so I'll tell you what, why don't we take uh, – well, he's getting up, so we're going to yeah. leave it here. So I'm just kind of waiting to see. And uh, it looks like he's going to jog off. And so we always – Always want the best for kids mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, they walk out of here healthy as Jalen Brandon 
jogs it off. So that put, should put Mark Torres in at the weak side safety. As we were talking about uh, That's who coming in, Coach Hooker, uh, his son Lane Hooker, who was from here originally, number 19, should be in the game at sophomore. some point tonight. And he's a sophomore and on the varsity team. Man, so. nice. And uh, both of his sisters were basketball players. Mm-hmm. One of them won a uh, state championship last year at Brownsboro. So, going to get ball again. Ball's going to dance around. He's got it across the tee. Yes, sir. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. It's a foot race, 20, 10, 5. Excuse me. Going to be down at the 13-yard line where the Tigers will take over first and 10. Speaking of youngsters, how about the freshman, Tredarian Ball? My man Ball, he just keeps rolling. And it's going to be a first down for the Tigers inside the 20-yard line, inside the 15 at the 13. And just because of, you know, a cut on his knee, he gets caught. Yep. So, we're going to bring first and 10. Hey, dance with the one that brung you. going to get him inside the 10-yard line. Ball is at the 9 for Man. the Tigers. Really good block out there in a pancake by number 55, Evan Holman, who's a junior. And, and here's the thing. People aren't going to see. All they're going to see is that stat for, for T-ball on that run. But David Potter takes a bad snap and, and gets it down and gets it into his belly as he's leaving. And that's just uh, – You know what you call that? Tell me. An athlete. Yes, sir. That's what an athlete will do. So, we're going to bring up second down and six after a gain of four on the last play. Going to hand it off once again. And uh, going to get behind that offensive line and have a gain of two. My, let's call it one. So I'm going to bring up third down and five uh, for the Tigers as they continue to give it to Ball as he has been the only one that's touched the ball on this drive as this rain has picked up here at Tiger Stadium. Umbrellas are out everywhere as the Tiger faithful are here. Yeah, it's penalty. Replay third down, and we're going to take it to, well. It should be a first and ten. First and goal. So it'll be first and goal for the Tigers. Ball spotted at the three-yard line. Big what, penalty. What did they call right there? Did you see? Uh, I don't know. Dancing with the referee. Well, I don't know. I t- you know, I, I saw I saw Briley Barron, yep. who, who kind of got roughed up right there, and I didn't know if maybe his guy came off too early or something like that. I think it was a, I think it was a personal foul was or it? something. So, going to hand it off once again to Ball. Ball has got an oh. opening, but, uh, man, great containment there by, mm-hmm. by number 10, and we'll get a name uh, for that. It's going to be Hayden, Hayden Ross. Ross. Does a great job there uh, for White House. I'm sorry. The rain was bothering me. I wasn't. Paying attention. Yeah. So he's the strong side linebacker. So get it snap. Get it snap. Mm. So going to hand it off to Ball once again. Ball's going to yes, take sir. it. Touchdown, Tigers. Man, I'm telling you, T Ball was hit in the backfield, and you don't see many freshmen with a body like that stretch that ball out. You're getting a replay right here. Watch him. Max effort right there by the by the big Tiger, T-ball, number 32. And because of it, Texas High ties the game and has a chance to go in the lead with 535 left in the half. So going to bring up a point attempt after. As Trusty in for the point attempt after. Kick is up, and the wow. kick is good. Much better on that snap and hold. And so with that, Texas High leads 14 to 13 with a missed extra point as the difference in the game, 535 left in the first quarter. We'll come back right after these messages for the rest of this first half. Here at Texarkana College, it is our mission to advance. All right, let's get real. We do things differently at Texarkana College. We understand the real world and we know how to prepare our students. Whether you're starting right out of high school or starting over, there is something for everyone at Texarkana College. Learn more at texarkanacollege.edu. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. Going to be McCoy on the reception and uh, on the return, I should say, 
as it's getting a little bit chippy out there as yeah. there's a little bit of trash talking going on. Uh, well, there was a there was a block in the back, a little push in the back. Uh, uh, Tim, uh, not Tim, Tristan Powell got pushed in the back, and he was down there to make the make the stop at about the 21. But because of it, they get to the 30, and those are, that's just a miss. That's okay. They're gonna miss some of ours too. Well, I'm not a homer. I'm just for the Tigers. Five and a half minutes left here in the first half, as it has been a battle on both sides of the ball mm. as uh, both oh. offensive lines have played really really well and we talk about it all the time the game is won in the trenches yes sir so as it continues to rain here at tiger stadium as they're gonna both teams are Good running the ball merriman makes both of them before the change can even get set they're already to second down and so You've got to get your chain mm -hmm. set, and so the official, in my opinion, has got to got be. Got to hold them up. You've got to hold them up. I mean, seven. chains have to be set. So it brings up second down and seven for White House after the gain of three. Going to fake the handoff, going to run the quarterback keeper once again. Child's on the, on the oh. stop there as Green on the Green keeper. Going to bring up third down and short as they continue to go fast. Oh, I hope they don't go that side. Good. Third down and one. Bring oh. third down and one as Green's going to get popped once again. But uh, Tackled by Dowden from the backside. Green on the, tack, or on the carry, first and ten of White House. It's going to bring first and ten for White House as Childs comes off. And so Green back to pass, going to get it outside, slings it out to number 13. Mm. It's going to be Ooh. Barron and Ooh, and I don't know if Barron knows where he is, and it looks oh. like we may have a knee injury. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, folks. Mm. He may be there just for a little while. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we hopefully will have an update, and uh, Barron will be on his feet. We'll be back after these messages. A shield against the elements. Comfort in the midst of chaos. Shelter in the aftermath of destruction. For 75 years, Shelter Insurance has remained true to our promise to be there when you need us most. This is the heartbeat of our company, our why. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. In Arkansas, see Brian Bolt for a free insurance review. deadline to register to vote is October 11th. Early voting begins October 24th and ends November 4th. Election day is November 8th. Go! You've spent years working hard to create your financial security. Reward yourself with a checking account designed specifically for you by a bank that shows you the outstanding level of customer service you deserve. With State Bank's Elite Checking, you can qualify for a competitive rate of interest, no monthly service fee, free checks, and superior customer service. Let State Bank be your bank for service, relationships, and living life to its fullest. And we are back here at Tiger Stadium as, uh, once again, Hudson Barron remains on the turf. Uh, nothing, he's not unconscious or anything. They're just, I think he's checking his knee out as it was a high-low situation as he got hit. And so, looks like Dr. Mitchell's out there as he is always at majority of the Texas High games and does a great job uh, with our medical team here at Texas High, our athletic trainers, but obviously White House trainers are here. And uh, so Coach Stanford was the first one out to him, and so got to give him credit for how he takes care of it. And so Barron is on his feet, but uh, going to have to be helped off as he got popped on the play. And uh, so we'll wish him nothing but the best as uh, Coach Stanford gives him a little fist bump. I got to appreciate Coach Stanford a lot because uh, he really does care about kids and uh, – and it's not just kids that are on his sideline, but every sideline, not just in the district, but across the city. And uh, 
really does cheer for for those as uh, Barron goes across the field, going to cross the tee as he's helped off the field. Don't look to see him uh, for the rest of the night. 424 left here in the first half. Texas High leads 14 to 13. We'll give you a few scoring updates uh, from across the area as last night Pleasant Grove beat North Lamar 55 to nothing. Uh, over in New Boston, New Boston leads Paris Chisholm 35 to 7 in the third quarter. Uh, Hugh Springs leads Queen City 22 to 12, and across town Pittsburgh leads uh, Liberty Isle 21 to 7 with a minute and a half left in the f- first half. So 4:24 left as we get back underway after the injury timeout, as it's going to be Green in as Hall is going to come in to run the ball for uh, White House, and he's going to have a nice gain on the play. Brings up third down and seven uh, for White House as we near four minutes left here in the first half. So as uh, I got a smorgasbord of food down there. I know. That's about what it is down there, but it sure is good. And that Mm. banana pudding, once again, hit the – spot gonna hand it off once oh, again no we're gonna it. keep it and uh this time for no gain as that texas high defense is figuring it out gonna bring up fourth down and long as green tries to do the quarterback keeper yeah that defensive tack- line said i ain't had tackle it. on black said no sir not right now and we're gonna force looks like their first punt of the game gonna bring their first punt and that texas high defense bows up their neck once again as they're gonna send on benson for the kick and uh, if I'm Texas High, you got to watch for the fake mm-hmm. here as they're liable to do anything. And it looks like it's going to be number nine for Texas High, Keith Lewis, back deep for the Tigers. Timeout. They're going to run it down, call it timeout. It's going to be a timeout, 3.09 left here in the first half. As it seems like both teams have used all their timeouts, and they've only used two apiece. Mm. And uh, so – we wish, once again, wish Barron for White House. We, miss, uh, we wish him nothing but the best as he took a hard hit, Hudson Barron, number 13 for them. So looks like he's getting checked out on the sidelines of some, looks, seeing some of his teammates gathered around him over there. And so Coach Hawk is coaching up his defensive line. And I think you got to watch for the fake, especially after the timeout. Yeah, you just want to play this one safe right here. Yep. Yep. So it's Texas High. They're not going to sit on it, I promise you. They're going to try to extend that lead and get it to eight if they can because uh, they get the ball in the second half. And so if you can get in the first half with it and get it in the second half, man, that's a big momentum no shift in the game as you've got to overcome a two-score game, a three-score game if they can score coming out of the first half as, or second half as well. Looks like he's going to try to rugby punt that mm-hmm. to his right. Is that the way? That's the way it's set up. As they send a man in motion, and uh, so we're going to kick it and uh, going to roll it down. Keep rolling. Gonna Keep try rolling. To get inside, yes, and sir. it's going to be a touchback. As it's going to be first and ten, ball at the twenty-yard line for the Tigers. As the offense comes back on the field, and the rain has slacked up a little bit here at Tiger Stadium. Well, and there's a slight slope down there he didn't know about in that right corner, and it just <laughs> kept it rolling. I bet uh, you're familiar with that slope because uh, – <laughs> Well, I'm, I made an indention burning that field down there, and that's what yep. – it hit that spot yep. and kicked down. Yep. So, uh, for those of you looking for insurance coverage, I think <laughs> Billy's got some great insurance coverage as he was able to get the entire field replaced <laughs> in one week. It was phenomenal. I mean, it was I – mean, who's your little agent? T- little touch-up, little paint. Because I know it wasn't Brian Bolt because he's Arkansas only. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it brings up first and 10 for the Tigers. Ball at the 20 yard line as going to hand it off once again as Johnson's I'll back in the game. And Johnson's across the 30, across the 35, going to take a man. It's going to be he run out, out of bounds, bounds at the 41 yard line. The clock's going to stop at 2.53 left in the first half. Man, that play was designed up the middle and he stuck his right foot in and made an excellent cut. He's got a little cramp right there, and T-Ball is going to come in for him. But really, really good run. Uh, set us up. Gets us gets us out of that end zone. I love it. Potter's leading, doing a great job leading the offense as he's making the adjustments. And the ball's on the ground as it's going to be wobbled around. It looks like White House got on the ball, and uh, that's the last thing you want. Yep. Low snap, and, and Potter couldn't get control of it before he got hit. 
and that ball just gets on that wet turf, and it, it just was squirting out of everybody who jumped on it. It's going to be White House ball. What I was saying earlier is Potter's really doing a good job going the line of scrimmage, making his calls, being confident with his calls. And uh, so that's the last thing Texas High needed. They really would have liked to score there. Uh, with 2.46 left here in the first half, Texas High leads 14-13. to 13. And uh, that defense is once again coming in to try to bow their neck and not let these guys score as we head into halftime here real soon. Scoring update, Phillies have come back. It's three to five to three in favor of Houston in the bottom, excuse me, top of the fourth. So we've got oh, a great game in the World Series as Green's going to be flushed clouds. out of the pocket and he's going to throw it deep and he's got a man, oh. but it's going to be broke up man. as he tried to get it to. Really good. Looks like number eight is it's going to be Ivan Lacey, the yeah. running back, as and he Stewart, was down the field. Stewart put a put a shoulder into him as, as that ball contacted him and, and made a really good hit. And, Exactly what we needed. So brings up second down and 10 as Josh Green did a great job to avoid the rush and to get outside and get the ball away and still try to make something happen. So brings up second and 10 as Lacey in the game, excuse me, Hall in the game. Going to fake the handoff to him and they're going to try to go one-on-one -on -one coverage and uh, it's going to be a touchdown. touchdown. For White House as DeCarlton Wilson on the catch. Stewart's wanting to push off over there and didn't get it. I don't know that there was a push off as he just kind of slowed up. That's what let, didn't let Stewart get in and then went under the ball. I mean, great route running by the receiver. And uh, so just like that with the turnover with 229 left here in the first half, White House takes the lead 19 to 14 with the ensuing with a point attempt after. Kick mm, is up, and the kick is blocked, and you can pick it up and return it. Go. And so, go. And it's going to be, uh, looks like C.J. Brown picked it up, and so that's a big block. Huge it's block. Gonna take it from a potential six-point to a five-point lead. And so with that, with 229 left here in the first half, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with the kickoff. Shield against the elements. Comfort in the midst of chaos. Shelter in the aftermath of destruction. For 75 years, Shelter Insurance has remained true to our promise to be there when you need us most. This is the heartbeat of our company, our why. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. In Arkansas, see Brian Bolt for a free insurance review. After the blocked a point attempt after, White House on the kickoff to the Tigers. And uh, going to kick it. Looks like it's going to go uh, on the G in, and it's going to come out as it's going to be Lewis coming out, and he's going to – he's got a crease on the sideline, and it's going to get it out across the 30, be run out of bounds at about the 33-yard line as it's going to be – Oh, there's a late, a late flag, and number 90 is going to get that uh, – for, uh, for White House, and that's going to be a 15-yarder. It's going to tack on, looks like. And uh, referees have trying to stay under control here, keep the game under control. As we wait on our mustache Mike referee here, as Billy was in the Magic of his Mike or Mustache? Whoa. Well, you, he, it's that's a new name for it, an yeah, open-handed oh, slap, slap. But we call those something different over where I'm from. But uh, we'll, that I like I like his definition of it. I, and, I really uh, like it. We'll just move on. We're just going to keep yeah. moving there, Billy, because I know yards. where you're from. It's, <laughs> it's 15 yards either way. 15 yards. So it's going to bring first and 10 with the Tigers having great field position. Going to hand it off to Ball as he's going to be tackled right on the tee at the 49-yard line. 
It's going to bring up second down and nine. And another thing is, is you saw discipline. There was no fight back. There was no anything after the open-handed slap. The open-handed mm-hmm. slap. That's a great way to state it. You're doing a great job, Billy. Well, it's Potter back to pass. pass. He's got a man wide open as he's going to dance. Brandon Hall. Oh. And Brandon Hall's going to be brought down hard on the play. And uh, that's the number one thing I've seen about the Tigers is when a play like that happens, a punch, anything, mm-hmm. they have learned to walk man, away from it, just, keep moving forward, live to play another down. It's just 15 more yards yes. that you get. You know, you, you fight back, and a lot of times they don't see the first punch. They see that second one, and, and you're going backwards. Third down and six and a half. So White House, this is what the defensive coordinator likes to do. He likes to do this full package shift, so it's not necessarily a call. And uh, Potter back to pass. He's going to be hit from behind as he tried to get the ball over to Ball, and Ball had all kinds of room but couldn't get it out there. Bring, be going to be fourth, fourth down, down on the play mm-hmm. with a, inside of a minute left here in the ball in the first half. Going to be a timeout on the play. Timeout by White House, isn't it? Yes. As they're trying to extend that lead. So it's going to be 102 left here in the first half. As the official waits to for it to be. You didn't make that mac and cheese down there, did you? Ooh, that stuff is good. Oh, it's good? Oh, I can oh, yeah, feel it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I made it. You made, I yeah. feel it in my arteries yeah. right now. Yeah. That's that good. Yeah, if you, may not, you may die from that, but I you're going to die I, happy, that's right? That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> die with cheese. So, so we are one hour into this ball game, and we're still not to halftime, Billy. I do know that halftime is going to be quicker tonight. Yes. Because both band, neither band, I think Texas High Band may be marching, mm-hmm. but I know the Pine Tree Band is not marching, which, by the way, Texas ne- neither, High Band. Neither is White House. I mean, White House, that, what did I say? Pine Tree. That's okay. That's either. next week. Yeah, that's next week. So, want to congratulate the Texas High Band on Absolutely. fifth in area, first time of all time in Texas High Band history that they've placed that, that uh, high in area. And so, congratulations to that Tiger Band. So, Mr. Arnie Lawson does a great job leading those guys. And so, so false start on the play. So, Texas High is set to kick it. Punt it away to White House. In the third quarter, Hooks leads DeKalb 14-8 to eight as they're in for a district title battle there in Bear Country. And at halftime, Pittsburgh leads 21 to 7. That ball is going to be partially blocked, it looked like. It's going to roll down inside the 35, down to the 28, make it the 26 yard line with 50 seconds left here in the first half. That ball almost looked like it was blocked a little bit. Yeah, I think he got the edge of it, is what he got, but it ended up being a blessing in disguise. So if you're. Sure, Coach Wilson, I don't know what he's saying exactly, but I'm telling you, he's telling his defensive backs, don't let anybody behind you with 50 seconds left. They're going to try to get it downfield as quickly as possible to try to extend this lead as White House leads 19 to 14. You know, but were you trying to double move, like probably what they'll do, it opens you up to sack. So Green is going to roll out to his left, and it's going to be a McCoy. And the clock's going to continue to run, but stop on the first down with 41 seconds left here as White House offense is built for this moment as it's just a fast offense as they try to run, and you look for them to throw it once again. Oh, great job by Ian Cry. Be, oh. And it's going to be oh, get it out of flag. his hand. That's right there. Stop right there where the quarterback is. That's a there's nobody in the area. They got to they got to spot it back where he threw the ball. They got to spot it back, and the, and the ref didn't throw a bag. You got to. That's an intentional grounding, and he doesn't yep. know where it is. You got a flag it's, back it, here. This happened. Yeah, but. I remember you're on air. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying <laughs> they're right. They, they made the right call, but there was also another call. Yes. That yes. they missed, and because of it, it's going to cost us about 15 yards. Seven yards. Yeah. 
Going to be 30 seconds left here in the first half. That's what Stanford's asking. Yes. Yes, there was no He's, receiver no. in in the area. No. The receiver that was down yes. there was an ineligible receiver. So Stanford's wanting the clock to wind uh, as they get set. I want to loss a down too. Yeah, but they're not probably not going to get that tonight. So is this going to be first and fifteen as White House is at? They're at the line of scrimmage ready to go as the Texas high defense is making some adjustments. Their, their quarterback did a great job to get the ball off, even though he threw it to nobody. Uh, yep. He did a great job to get rid of it because Ian Kreit was barreling him down. They're going to they're gonna roll it. Set number 18. He's telling them they're going to roll the clock on. Whitaker in, and mm -hmm. so they're going to roll the clock inside of 30 seconds. It's going to – they're going to – Fake the handoff as Boom. as the quarterback Green is going to keep it, and that Texas high defense does a great job to hold him. And now Green is wasting time, which is great. Yeah, is this going to be inside of ten seconds? And uh, you might as well just take it to the house now, as your quarterback just cost you uh, at least one more play. And so inside of five seconds, and that's going to do it for us for the first half as White House leads nineteen to fourteen. When we come back, you're going to have a halftime show in ponchos tonight, it yeah. looks like. And uh, nothing's going to stop those high steppers from performing. High steppers going to be out there along with the Texas High Tiger Band. We'll be back here in just a few moments with halftime. Mexican eyes, these Board of Trustees voted unanimously during a board meeting to call a school bond election for November 8, 2022. The proposal was developed to address long-term growth, aging facilities, and safety and security needs, as well as need facilities. Bond 2022 would build one new elementary for 800 students existing in the Pine Street property, combining Spring Lake Park and Highland Park elementaries. Preposition 8 also includes a new 600-student Dunbar Early Education Center at Central District location. There will be the same number of seats in the district for pre-K early learning as kindergarten to meet students at the gateway of school. The last time a significant investment was made at Wake Village Elementary was in 1986. There will be a new front elevation with reconfigured main entrance and protective canopy from the main campus to the Tiger Learning Center. Proposition A would include the purchase of 18 new buses in order for the district to stay on regular replacement schedule. Election day for Texarkana ISD's bond proposal is Tuesday, November 8th. Early voting is October 24th through November 4th. And remember, go vote.
next of her officers are Junior Lieutenant Cameron Jean. Junior Lieutenant Liberty Maldando Cowan. Senior Lieutenant Lydia Horton. Senior Lieutenant Lauren Robertson. And Senior Captain Emma Giddings. High Stepper of the Week is Senior Social President Reese Langdon. Our Teacher of the Week is Lance Kyles. Thank you, Mr. Kyles, for all you do for THS, our performance tonight dedicated to you. And Mrs. Reynolds would like to give a special thank you to the senior class of 23. Shelby, Ellie, Savannah, Ava, Lizzie, Reese, Lauren, Lydia, and Emma. Thank you for your dedication to the Texas High Steppers and for always making sure that every day is a good day. Tonight, the High Steppers entertain you with their kick routine to Party Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, the Texas High Steppers. Texarkana Independent School District proudly presents the award-winning Texas High School Tiger Marching Band. Tonight, we take a moment to recognize all of our seniors who have been with us for the past four years. Marco Aguilar. Chloe Alzaga. Haley Anderson. Preston Black. Harry Campbell. Bryn Chandler. Caitlin Coburn. Lucas Dupas. Alex Gabriel. Alisa Green. Anna Gross. Jaquan Harrison. Destiny Henderson. Delvin Hunt. Darian Jackson. CJ Jordan. Stephen Lanius. Shelby Lejeune. Kendall McGee. Ethan McDaniel. Gracie Neal. 
Ava Norton. Angel Paz. Jackson Robertson. Makaya Wade. The 2023 seniors in the Texas High School Marching Band. Ladies and gentlemen, this past Saturday, the Texas High School Band competed in the UIL Area C5A Marching Contest, where for the first time in school history, the band made the finals and finished fifth in competition. Our drum major for the season, Caitlin Coburn. The band captain is Darren Jackson. Other band officers are senior Caden Jordan, junior Katie Russell, sophomore Xavier Briggs, freshman Lila Williams, and Francisco Kinez. Band members of the week are all of the seniors. We are excited to announce here at Texarkana Emergency Center and Hospital that we have expanded our capabilities to better serve our community. As a hospital, we have the capability for inpatient services. After your outstanding emergency care, we can smoothly transition you into one of our new inpatient rooms that have telemetry monitors in every room to continue your concierge medicine care. While our patients continue receiving their care in their inpatient suites, we also make sure that your loved ones are taken care of with our outstanding facilities. Our added services include a procedure room and also the capability of MRIs. With our imaging, we are able to offer outpatient, inpatient, and emergency room, MRI, CT, ultrasound, and x-ray. We are honored by your support and look forward to serving all your future medical needs. Life is busy and we get it. The State Bank mobile app was designed to make banking more convenient for you. Check account activity, make transfers, pay bills, and manage your debit card in a snap. You can deposit checks from the convenience of your home or wherever life lands you. The State Bank app lets you organize your accounts, manage alerts, and easily email our customer service experts. Now that you have State Bank at your fingertips, you can spend more time doing what's important to you. 
You're a family. You're a bay. Stay true. We would like to thank the following restaurants for donating food to the press box for tonight's game. Slim Chicken, The Silver Spoon, Dixie Diner, Flying Burger, Pizza Hut, Catfish King, and The Golden Chip. Our thanks to all of them, and we hope you'll support them as they support TISD Sport. A reminder that gates will close to Tiger Stadium at Grim Park 20 minutes after the conclusion of tonight's game. Please make your plans accordingly.
Eric Aiken along with Billy Lavender after a wonderful halftime performance and uh, got a little break to uh, rest our voice a little bit. So about a minute and a half left here uh, at halftime as both teams are gathering up. And, uh, Billy, if you're Texas high, I don't know that you might have had a, been yelled at or chewed out in the mm-hmm. locker room, but I think a refocus would be the, the best word. Yeah, some some penalties uh, on on a couple of early drives uh, and, uh, and led to some points maybe from White House and then uh, – you know, losing a couple of guys deep that you actually had covered. Uh, and let me tell you something, their, their quarterback can spin it. Uh, he's got a strong left arm. Bet he throws the pill uh, in, uh, in baseball and uh, off, the, off the bump. But, uh, but we'll see that later on. And, uh, but uh, the Tigers are about to run out. And, uh, and I'm, I'm telling you, if there's anything I trust, and I say it over and over and over, it's our coaching staff at halftime makes lots of adjustments and, and gets it going, and, uh, and I think they will again. So it uh, looks like both teams are loaded up in the tunnel as uh, White House. Billy, uh, they've got the fire extinguishers going. Yeah, well, I'm up here with you. <laughs> yep, so White House is going to run out again, and here come your Texas High Tigers as they're led out on the field with the great job by the flag crew, the Texas flag, and everything else in between as the tunnel crew does a great job once again getting it set up. And so we're about ready to get underway here at Tiger Stadium at Grimm Park where Texas High trails White House 19 to 14. And, uh, Billy, I don't know about you, but I'm hoping this second half is a better one for the Tigers and a lot faster than the first half. Yeah, you know, I'd take take the former for sure and – and just roll with the second, but uh, but they just need to come out and set the tone. Uh, who gets the ball first? Texas, Texas High is going to receive the ball. this one. And uh, yep. hey, I want to. Uh, we were talking at halftime with uh, an official. He was giving us some interpretation of some rules that that uh, may or may not have been missed by this crew. But uh, our friend Greg Aiken want to uh, wish him nothing but the best. Uh, got rolled up in a in a situation where he blew his knee out mm-hmm. uh, a couple of weeks ago against mm-hmm. Marshall. And he wanted me to tell you he completed the game with a blown out knee. And so, hey, those those guys uh, sometimes they're tougher than the guys out there in the trenches. But uh, Aiken's a good guy, Razorback yeah. fan. And, oh yeah, uh, that's what that's yeah. what makes him a good guy. That's right. right. Well, I mean that goes hand in hand. <laughs> yeah. Synonymous. Yeah, loves Jesus and the hogs. That's so that's right. what it's good. So we're about ready to get underway as uh, as White House looks to kick it off. As it's going to be Benson on the kick once again, going to kick it deep. And they're going to be fielded at the one-yard line. T.J. Gray going to bring it out Mm -hmm. and going to be brought down at the nine-yard line after a great tackle uh, by White House. Yeah, T.J., if he just could have. could have slipped that shoestring tackle. Looked like they were setting up a wall over here on the left side. And so... With that, the Texas high offense is going to come out. we got a flag on the play. Looks like we've got an offsides, and they're going to re-kick yeah. that one. Yeah, we'll just scoot them back five yards. They've been doing it all this half. Every play. Every. So, folks, if you don't know, the, my friend Billy and his, his son went to an Ole Miss-Arkansas game, and the entire time – Every time there was a penalty. It started with the first play of the game. First play of the game, and there would be these guys, they'd stand up, cheaters, and another guy would say, he's been doing it all game. And they did it every flag. And, and so then, my son and I took 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 that, and we, we ran with it, and we've done it every Arkansas and Texas high game since. But now he's up up on the hill. So. And so if Trey's not here and I'm around, so Billy and I, That's we right. uh, we kind of keep that going That's a little right. bit. So uh, who the Hogs got tomorrow, Billy? The Hogs are at Auburn on the Plains, favored by three and a half. I like our chances against yeah. Auburn, or Arkansas's chances. That, you can say Razorback Auburn. fan, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, so here we go once again. Going to try this again uh, as Benson set to kick it off once again, and uh, going to mm, kick short. it short this time. Going to be Go in favor of the Tigers as oh. it's going to be Lewis as he's going to field it at the. 20, going oh. to get across the 25, and you're going to have better field position than yeah. they. Ends up being an 11-yard penalty. Yes. So, going to bring up first and 10 for the Tigers as that Tiger offense looks to get it going 
uh, this half. And, uh, man, if they can eliminate penalties, I like our chances. Yeah, here. and Lewis kind of – he knew. He looked over at, at uh, special teams coach, and he said, my bad. He's got to step up and catch that. And, he, you know, he didn't hit a hole or something like that. But, uh, but it allowed uh, – Loud White House to get downfield. It's great to see Lewis in the game. Hadn't seen him a lot this year, so he's involved a little bit. Going oh. to be Johnson. It's great to oh, see Johnson great back cut. up. Going to cut it back inside. Another cuts it back one. inside once again. Man. Going to be down at the 45-yard line. Great run. Hey, not, not only a great run, but those big guys up front that don't get mentioned a lot were, were staying on their blocks, and then he was cutting off of them, and uh, he looks back uh, fresh for the second half. Just like that 46-yard line as that offensive line has been motivated uh, to plow over this defensive line. Going to hand it off once again. Face mask. And uh, going to get across the 50-yard line. Brings it up second down and five as a changer still trying to get set over there. As uh chain crew does a great job every week as those guys are – I don't know if they're paid or not, but they do a great job every week. I know they enjoy the banana pudding down on I the know, second floor. Right. So it's going to be – ball is at the 49-yard line of White House as Texas High gets into White House territory. Going to snap it once again. Gets it off to Johnson. Johnson going to dance right. up the middle, and he's going to have plenty for a first down. Brings up first and ten once again for the Tigers. As they are giving White House a taste of their own medicine that as was they really, go quick. That was really close, and you called it early, and they called it late. So, hey, nice job. Just I know. Just let me call Get it. Get on board. I've I'm got on a, board. I've got a great view from up here. <laughs> <laughs> so First and ten for the Tigers. Is going to hand it off to <sighs> Ball. Ball's John going to Jack. try to get it outside. but uh, John Jack just couldn't get on the other side of that defensive lineman. Man, that defensive lineman can roll. Yep. Number 60. John Jack trying to plead oh. his case to uh, Coach Stanford and, and Coach Harrell, and they're like, just get back in the ball game. We'll deal with it during film <laughs> session. John Jack knows what's coming at film, yep. right? <laughs> so it brings up second down and 10 after no gain on the play. As uh, Texas High – has the ball at the 44-yard line of White House. Dangerfield line. I, I knew something. Going to get a pass out yeah. to Gray, but it's going to be thrown into the stands. I knew, oh, we got a flag. I wonder if that's going to be – I wonder if there's an eligible. I don't know if there's an ineligible downfield or what it was or a holding on it. Could it be defensive holding? Who knows? Yeah, they're asking this ineligible man downfield, I think. Yep. Looked like some some linemen got downfield, but but Dangerfield was lined up in the H back position, and that's not his typical typical uh, position. So him coming across, they were trying to get it to him out in the flat. Yep, good call. Broadcast partner once again on top of the calls tonight is it's going to be an ineligible man downfield. Going to back it up five yards. Going to be second down and fifteen for the Tigers as Ball remains in the game, along with Dangerfield, Hubbard. Looking for us to go to that little little B hall in the slot. Going a slant. Yep, going a, in a slant route, but they're playing those safeties inside now. Tried to get it out here to Hubbard, but uh, to no avail. Going to be tackled at the 50-yard line. Brings up second down and... 16 after a loss of one on the sack. And once again, they're going to run in an entire package. They do a big change, mm -hmm. the defense does. So on third and long, they're going to go to more of a nickel defense. We'll put that those five defensive backs in to try to stop. So got one-on-one one -on -one on one. Mm -hmm. outside at the top of the – Oh, he's getting hailed. So yeah, there it is. And that's a first on down. The play. It's going to be an automatic first down as they're yep. all trying to say, "What'd you call?" No, the, I, I saw it. I saw it early. If it, if it'll show that again on replay, I mean, he's just holding TJ off the line and not letting him get out of his break. Should be uh, it's a holding. Should be defensive holding. What's the? So, all the White House players no, are. No, Call it. Call it. Yes, sir. Thank you. First down. Let's go. Been doing it all game. They sure have. <laughs> it's going to be automatic first down for 
in favor of the Tigers after the defensive holding. Man, I'll tell you what you got to do as the Tigers right now as, as we have a couple of new guys coming in is, is you have to take advantage of those third down and longs and getting calls like that. You got to take advantage and go down and score. So first and 10 for the Tigers. Ball spotted at the 40-yard line. Is this going to be ball? He's going to dance out of trouble. He crosses the 30 across the yep. 25 and going to run out of bounds after so, a first and 10. And there's going to be a it's going to be a flag on the play after the play, and it looks like it might go mm. against Brandon Hall. Yep, they're going to bring him out if it is. And uh, and I'll tell you what what I just noticed right there is T-ball is not 100% healthy because earlier this year and before last week, yep. he is finishing off that, that guy right there and getting three, four extra yards. But, but smart of the freshman just to get out of bounds right there. It'll be Brandon Hall coming out of the game and not happy about that call. Oh. Man, that's going to give us a long first and long. Yeah, going to be at the spot of the foul. Yep, so, so that's a lot different situation yep. now after a first and 10. And lose seven. Now you're going to go first and 17. And uh, ball is back close to midfield. John. It's going to be at the 46, 47. I'm going to hand it off to Johnson. Johnson's going to be chased from behind. He's going to oh. break that tackle, but going to be run down. And uh, – White House defense is they're trying to get confidence. Second down. So we'll bring up second down and 17 as he got back to the line of scrimmage. World Series game one series or the game is tied at five all in the top of the sixth inning. So Phillies aren't going away easy. Eight and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Takes us high on the opening drive. It's been a penalty late oh, drive so far. Potter's uh, had a man, and uh, looks like he come up gimping mm, a little bit. His danger field got tangled up a little bit there. Man, that was going to be – if he could have gotten around that guy, they they had that – they ran a little wheel route down low, and danger field would have gotten open, but uh, they got tangled up. So we're going to bring up third down and long for the Tigers. As we've had this before – and uh, had penalties several times uh, against the White House Wildcats. Well, they're pressing up on our our guys, but they're just kind of holding them off the line of scrimmage and getting them called. I'd, you'd think they'd a uh, good camera angle right there by the guys. So, across town, Liberty Allo has closed the gap as it's 21 to 14 with two right. minutes left in the third quarter. As we got a timeout on the field, timeout Texas High, with 8.19 left here in the third quarter. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back after these messages with more Tiger football. Go vote. 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 And we are back as both teams come out of the timeout. Billy, we were noticing at halftime the uh, band, uh, they honored their seniors tonight, and uh, all of the seniors got a, looks like a banner up mm -hmm. behind uh, cool. the band tonight. So it looks really, really cool on the other side of the field. Congratulations to those seniors. Potter back to pass. He's got a man as Dangerfield is there, <sighs> and it's in and out of the hands, oh, and there's going to be flag on the play once again. And they're going to throw their hands up, and I, what did I do? <laughs> hey, listen, it's called I pass see, interference. Listen, it's, in the I, words see LeBron, the I see LeBron doing that all the time. Hey, <laughs> in the words of the student section, you can't, can't do, do that. that. <laughs> Get it going. 
They're uh, they're over there. They'll be beating their trash cans like uh, yeah. Houston Astros here in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So it's going to be an automatic first down. We called it a while ago. 8-11 left here in the third quarter as Texas High continues to drive as, once again, this penalty-laden drive as good. it is just back and forth with penalties. And good the chain back. crew trying Sorry. to get set once again. Yeah, good back shoulder throw by David J. right there. And uh, Dangerfield did everything he could, and he usually comes down with that. Going okay. to get it out to ball. Ball's going to tuck the ball. Oh, don't reach and, uh, ball It's going to be – he led with his helmet, and Coach Stanford mm. is asking for a looks like an unnecessary roughness, or I don't know what it was. Oh, they got uh. a penalty on the play there. Be a holding on the offense. Ten yards. Getting some use of uh, those uh, hankies right there. And, uh, man, it's not what you want to see. It's not a clean game, but uh, not at all. At the, at the end of it, it's it's better off if it's not a clean game and you win than it is if it's not a clean game and you lose. So uh, Tigers have a long drive right here, getting the ball first. So Potter back to pass. Oh. He's get, trying to look for a man, look for an open man, and he scrambles out and he gets him. Oh, good. And uh, going to have a great catch, catch by, by TJ Gray. And so man. it's going to be second down and 10 on the play after the hey, great pass. Look at 10. big old Briley Barron go all the way out past the numbers to celebrate with TJ. I like to see those linemen do that. Yep. Uh, you know, they, they're they they're in it, man. If there happen to be any college coach watching, Briley Barron is a dude and man. you need to come get him. The kid can play. No doubt. So we're going to hand it off once again to Ball, ball's going to dance up the middle, across the 20, oh. 10, 5, touchdown, Tigers. Freshman, Tradarian ball, rolling. Some people call it T-ball, we he, call it touchdown ball. He got the ball rolling. Look at that replay on the money. Yes, sir. I don't think there's anything wrong with that knee, Mr. Yeah. Lavender. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got two of them. So, he's still got a good one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So we're going to be trusty on for the attempt after. Kick is up, and oh, the kick trusty. is good. With 7.16 left here in the third quarter, Texas High leads 21-19. to We're going to take a short break. Don't go anywhere, folks. we got a shootout here at Tiger Stadium. Here at Texarkana College, it is our mission to advance. All right, let's get real. We do things differently at Texarkana College. We understand the real world and we know how to prepare our students. Whether you're starting right out of high school or starting over, there is something for everyone at Texarkana College. Learn more at texarkanacollege.edu. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. How about that drive to come yeah. out of halftime? I'll tell you, it's it's a long drive, but uh, you see some see some adjustments already. Trusty with the kickoff, going to be fielded at the uh, four yard line, and uh, going to be brought out, going to cross almost a twenty yard line. Yeah, across the twenty, make it about the twenty three yard line. Is it's going to be McCoy on the return? Yeah, and Alejandro Cardenas. Some some would say I don't know how. Cardenas? We'll Cardenas. go with it. Alejandro, my man, he's a senior, and he makes a lot of tackles on the kickoff. So, Eric Aiken along with Billy Lavender, we appreciate you joining us tonight as Texas High is taking on White House in a match in the Good district. Good ball game for, for the play. district title. It is for the district title and uh, for that number one seed uh, in the playoffs is they're going to go a new formation, double stack, and uh, – you're going to have a lead blocker on the oh, outside, but that great is job. not going to work. Y'all might need to go hey, back to your original game plan. Here's what happened. Alex Hines gets outside and keeps containment, and uh, and Ian Kreit works off his block and is able to make that, that tackle because of Hines uh, being disciplined. And, and man, that's, that's coaching and athleticism right there. 
So got Hall in the backfield once again with Lacey as they went to that two uh, back set. Going to move Lacey up to the H back position and uh, going to fake the handoff as the southpaw is going to try to get it out, and he does, oh. and it's going to be tipped. Great defensive play Man, by the Tim Texas Austin. High Tigers. Is this going to be Wilson? As the ball was intended for Wilson. Yeah, Tim Austin, man, he's, uh, you know, it's just one of those deals where you're starting to see what happens at halftime, and they come out here and, and start performing and, and doing. You you want to see that done before halftime, but, uh, but, man, we'll take it right there after a long drive, and he plays really good. But, man, I'll tell you, the old number 12, uh, Josh Green for uh, for White House, he's, he's slinging it. Yep. Josh Green can play. That little that lefty, he can – he can make it happen. So, going to be a pass once again. Ian's going to be, uh, looks ah. like hell a little bit. Going to be a broken tackle as Jackson is loose. And they're going to cross midfield, be brought down at the 40, 44 yard line. Going to be first and 10 for White House. As once again, they try to go fast. Oh, yeah, get down. Oh, we got a, yeah, good. Yep. Good. He did a belly flop on 34. He was hurt, and that's good that. Josh Stewart down on the play. Looks like he may have a cramp or a crick. But, or both. Or a, hey, go down. I mean, no. He no, that's, that's, what, that's exactly what he did, and he did no, what he was taught. It, it, what, he was injured, and he wasn't going to be able to get back out to his spot, so he did exactly what you're taught to do is get down, uh, and, and we'll come get you off the field and, and you get worked on, and we'll get you back in. So going to be Brandon Hall coming in to take his place yep. as uh, Brandon having to play both sides of the ball as Josh Stewart comes out of the game. Josh has had a great season this year as he is a senior as well for Texas High. Trips left. So we're going to go trips left. But they're running this way. With an H-back position, more of a tight end set. As they're going to fake the handoff, going to go wide receiver screen. Oh, and uh Slip a tackle. Gonna slip a tackle. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what, White House does a great job. They execute mm -hmm. really, really mm -hmm. well. As Texas High defense has had a tough time with them tonight. Mm -hmm. Texas High leads with 550 left, 21 to 19 here in the third quarter. And so got a man as it's going to be caught uh, mm -hmm. by McCoy. And it's going to be first and goal for White House. That's uh, that's Brandon Hall that came in for Stewart and uh, and Brandon Hall just didn't get his head around. He doesn't get any, he doesn't get a whole lot of snaps on defense. You know, probably 10, 15 this year. Brief first and goal, going to run it up the middle with Hall. Oh, good tackle. And Hall's going to be brought down, make it second and goal. Isaiah Dowden gets in there. Oh, that's twenty six. Tristan Powell with a tackle. Scoring update. Uh, Liberty Ilo trails uh, Pittsburgh in the fourth quarter, 20 to 21. Man. So, missed an extra point is the difference in that game as we've missed two extra points here in this game to make Texas High give them the lead 21 to 19. One missed, one blocked. Yep. So, got a man down on the field. Looks like we got a lineman down for White House. And uh, I got to say, the line for White House has played a really, really good game tonight. Mm hmm. So, we're trying to figure out. Once we get a number, folks, we'll let you know who that is. It looks like it might be – try to figure it out here in a minute. Maybe the center. Not sure. Looks like it is. Yeah, it's going to be the center, Chris Woodley, uh, that's down for the Tiger. Looks like he's going to walk it off. So, 10 minutes to play. Liberty Idol leads 28 to 21, as obviously they scored and All went right. for two points. So, uh, take the lead. Heck of a comeback. Yes, big time comeback. They were down 21 to nothing at one point. 28 unanswered. So, going to be the, this could be a difference because you got a new center that's going to be coming in for White House and uh, going to be making the calls there. It's number 51. Is that Cody Bostic? He's a he's a junior. Yep. So who will probably could be the senior this year or next year, could be the starter next year. As they're gonna give it to Josh and Gets Josh Lee in. and excuse me, Josh Green and he's gonna be and there's gonna be a flag on the play. Maybe a holding out. Oh. And so 
trying to figure out what the call is. Does it look like? Uh, mm-hmm. Take that. Looks like number 42 for Texas High was a little upset about something he there. He was probably the so, one that got held. <laughs> uh, Taekwon Black. I think they've been frustrated because they've been holding all night yeah. and they've and uh, it's that, as the that, rain picks up once again here at Tiger Stadium. That is that is frustrating when you're yep. trying to do your do your job and getting held, but they're they're getting calls. Oh. So gonna be a bad uh, snap as we just talked about oh. as he is going to get smoked in the backfield and whew. he and cry. You don't want to see him coming at you free, but uh but I I don't know if I think they're gonna get us off sides. I think they they were going on two. I don't, I, know I don't know if they were meaning to, but they were. Yeah. Uh, the quarterback's trying to shake it off, but. Uh, shake it off. He is. Uh, he's still not sure uh, where his hands are. I'm sure they're going numb about now. Mm -hmm. Still a little steady rain outside. Yep. yep. So Josh Green steps back in. Tough kid at quarterback for White House. Is this going to be second down and goal? Is once again, this has been a penalty laden second mm -hmm. half once again as both teams either holding or offsides, just little things that's killing both teams. Is going to hand it off. Oh, it's, there's another hold. There's actually two holds out there. And it's going to be number 22 Hall, but uh, that ball is going to come back as once again, another penalty. Been doing it all game. You know what's bad? Tell me. Is this fixing to be just as long as a half as the first half? <laughs> like I say, as long as we win, I'm okay. Five minutes left here in the third quarter. So Merriman comes off the field. So we're waiting on the play. Merriman's going to run back in. So I think there's a little frustration with coaches and the officials and and then the penalties. I mean, it's a list, it's just kind of a almost a perfect storm, if yeah. you will. So here it's we go. A storm it's, out there. Yep, it's going to be second down and goal. Ball is outside, just inside the 15 yard line, as it's second and goal for White House. As there's confusion on personnel there, as their running back Hall has to run off, and got another running back, uh, number 26, Jaron oh, Williams. And there's going to be six more penalty flags that are going to be on the play. you got a new center in the game. Here's here's the thing is, is when they run that guy off and that other guy on, I think that ref is supposed to get down there and make sure that, that we can – what they call? They call false start, false start. on the offense. But, but I think the I think the official is supposed to get down there and allow us to substitute after – after they run that guy on, and they yes. didn't do that, and, and it cost, you know, it, it would have cost them either a timeout or, or a penalty, but it, it ended up working out in our favor so anyway. Starting running back Lacey is back in for White House as Green gets the – Green is going to get the signal in from the sideline, going to bring second down and goal. Ball is at the 19-yard line of Texas High as they try to refuse them this opportunity oh. to score, and it's going to be overthrown mm. as he had a man, McCoy, break free there. So it's going to bring third down and goal I like at the, the 19. I like the call by yep. A.J. and, and Coach Hawk and, uh, of blitzing him and not giving him much time, and he could have rushed that uh, a little bit, seeing H uh, Hines coming full speed at him and uh, and just overthrows his receiver. Now we got third and third and goal with from the 19. Got to give it up for Green, man. Great pass there. He can flat throw it. Man and once again, going to have a man-to-man -man on the outside, but he's going to look the other way as it's going to be uh, oh. broke up. Is it great? And they're going to call pass interference on that as he had his – as he had his head turned around. Replay. And both, both uh, officials or both uh, players were fighting with each other. Not literally, but uh, in the play of game. 
it looked like we had position. Yes. I, I couldn't tell if they tried to pull us or or how we got position was was what happened. It was it's in the corner away from us. Uh, even though I'm wearing my my specs, uh, I can't. Uh, so here's the call. Jeez. Wow. Man. You couldn't believe he caught the ball. The press box is saying the same yeah. thing. We couldn't believe he caught the ball with 449 left here in the third quarter. Touchdown for the Wildcats as that gives them the lead 25-21. to 21, And I look for them. figure they might go for two here. It looks like they're going to try to the point attempt after as the rain is picked up here mm -hmm. at Tiger Stadium once again. Wait, the point attempt after. Kick is up, and the right kick the is good right down the middle. So with 449 left here in the third quarter, Texas High Trails White House 26 to 21. Don't go anywhere, folks. This could be one heck of a finish. We'll be back after these messages. A shield against the elements. Comfort in the midst of chaos. Shelter in the aftermath of destruction. For 75 years, Shelter Insurance has remained true to our promise to be there when you need us most. This is the heartbeat of our company, our why. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. In Arkansas, see Brian Bolt for a free insurance review. The deadline to register to vote is October 11th. Early voting begins October 24th and ends November 15th. Election day is November 8th. Go! And we're back go. here after the kick. T.J. Gray on the reception. Going to get it out to the 30-yard line. Just a little pooch kick by the Wildcats. And uh, Texas High looks to answer the score with 4.43 left here in the third quarter. Yeah, Texas High's only had one drive uh, this quarter, and uh, and it was a good long one and uh, ended it up with a T-ball touchdown. And uh, they're going to put Johnson back out there to start this drive, and we need another long drive right here. A little scoring update. Over in uh, DeCab, Hooks is uh, beating DeCab 28 to 24 with 40 seconds left in the ball game. Going to hand it off to Johnson. Johnson going to take Ooh. it up the middle, and uh, Boy, Briley Barron and John Jack are roughing up some defensive linemen right there. If you take just some syrup out there, I always tell Briley I'm gonna bring a, a big mess of syrup and, and pour it on those guys after he pancakes them. One more scoring update across town. Pittsburgh and Liberty Isle tied up at Ooh. 28 in the fourth quarter. So that game could go into a little bit of overtime. It's going to be uh, – his knee was down, so it's going to be second down and long as he tried to pick up the low snap. Uh, as Potter tried to pick up the low snap. and uh, I don't know that it's good replay. Yeah. In the, you know, in the state championship game, we have replay, but we don't have it here. So, so it brings up third down and long for the Tigers. Top of the seventh. Phillies and Astros are tied 5-5 after Houston jumped out to a big lead early in the game. Potter back to pass. He's got a man, TJ. Oh, yes, sir. And it's going to be another hey, pass hey, interference. Really pretty pass. Really great route by TJ, and he was open, and, and their guy did exactly what, what he should have done. That's reach out and grabbed him. Uh, but, uh, but another third and long that the Tigers will get a penalty and a first. Interesting part is you could tell TJ's jersey was hanging <laughs> off of him <laughs> by the time he got done. But he – He's such a threat, mm -hmm. and they know that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I T think I would just keep throwing it Absolutely. and win this game on penalties. Yeah, you know, T-ball uh, is coming in for Johnson right here, and, and it's going to be a one-two punch for them. Stay, uh, you know, stay. Uh, what are you trying to say? I Billy? don't know. I was going to say healthy. You're starting but that to sound too. like Bolt up here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 
So going to be Johnson on the carry, or excuse me, Ball on the carry, going to get across the 40 yard, 45 yard line to the 47. Going to bring up second down and five after the five yard gain. And I tell you, I know he might have been banged up last week, but he is still running the ball. Yeah, he do, he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have the push off of his left side uh, like he normally does. And uh, if he can get out there out there on the right edge and 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 cut, but uh, he doesn't have to have a hundred percent to be faster than a lot of people. Me being one of them. So we're inside of three minutes left here in the third quarter. Going to hand it off to Ball once again. Ball's going to get bottled up a little bit there by his own lineman and uh, brings up third down and three or four as he ran into his own lineman there yeah. as we approach two and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Third and three, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, man, I'm wondering if we're in four down territory right here. I'm, I'm thinking a run right here. It's going to be third down and three. Mm. Potter's going to back to pass. He's got a man as he's got uh, – it's like That's, Dangerfield, but it's, yeah, uh, it's overthrown. It's, we're we're running the old okey doke, trying to get them to jump off sides, and and Richard Jackson thought that they had jumped and snapped it, and uh, and let us. Uh, we just had to throw it up because of it. So we're going to bring up fourth down, and uh, going to send Trusty in as they try to pin White House deep as Texas High trails by five, twenty six to twenty one with 2.11 left in the third quarter. So, Billy, I'm trying to pull up the game across town uh, just to kind of keep up with it so we can oh, keep you. No. And uh, So, it's going to be a bad snap. And, man, if there's any breaks that have gone, it has not been Texas High's way tonight no. so far. That's a tough one right there, down, and, and uh, just a, a mess of – mess of things that happened and uh you know th three things happen and and all three of them are bad and now you got uh you got their their ball inside our 40 w with momentum and let's see if our defense can hold right here it'd be a big stop if we could i'm gonna go double uh two receivers on either side with a running back in the backfield as he's gonna Fake the handoff to Lacey, but going to oh, that's Green's a hold right there. Outside. God, I didn't and, call uh, it. Instead of wrapping up, we're just going to hit him. Man, and, number number eighty one's holding out there, and they couldn't. They didn't call it out there in the corner, and cause of it, he didn't get, didn't stop him behind the line of scrimmage. We only gets two two yards, one yard actually, second and nine. So, a minute and forty left in the third quarter. Green, Lacey in the backfield. Green's getting the snap, fakes it to Lacey. And, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. It's going to be picked go. off by Tim Texas Austin. High. Yes, sir. And, uh, it's going to be first and ten for the Tigers. Exactly what we needed. Don't get a penalty right here. Let's go. Get them off the field. Hawk, I like it. I see you, baby. Yep. That's when Hawk grabs you. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. I was told by another team in the district. White House likes to talk a lot <laughs> on the field, and I that's like, the number one thing that they like. And so that's what that's what Hawks talking to him about. Yep. Let the game take it out Man. in between the whistles. Big stop by defense. Big turnover right there. Good camera angle down on Tim Austin, and uh, you know we've we've seen a, a few plays he's gotten beat once or something, but uh, but he makes a big huge play for Texas High right there, and we can get back in the ball game. So rain is picked up here at Texas High, excuse me, at Tiger Stadium. David Potter going to hand it off to Ball. Ball's going to try to get it to the outside, and he does, and is going to get take nothing and loss of yeah. two. It turns it into gain of yeah, four. Yeah, and he didn't have the angle to get outside, but no. uh, but he's got the wheels, and like I say, he's a special kid and uh, and a good kid. And he's just a little bit banged up, but uh, he's giving it all he's got. Can't wait to see him in track. Mm. Mm. And you see him in track and go, oh yeah, that's not JV. He's a freshman. <laughs> that's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch. Minute 18 left here in the third quarter. As Potter back to pass once again, he's got a man on the outside. Yeah, it's TJ that's Gray. A, that's a flag. The guy never turned his never yeah. turned his hat and's got a hold of him. 
And so going to bring – TJ's trying to come back to the ball, and the guy's not, not allowing him to. And yep. it, it's okay if you do that if you got your head turned. There's a there's penalty flag over here on this side, yep. and I don't know so what it is. Maybe there's defensive holding or something because we were all watching yeah. the – Coach Stanford's clapping. So going to be – calls Potter over for some reason. I'm sure he's just talking. Yeah, he's just – Tell him what he wants to do next Defensive holding, so should yeah. be an automatic first down. That has literally been all night long. Their defense has been holding receivers because. Not letting us get any momentum going. Got the Liberty Ilo game on. They just uh, took the lead 34 right. to 28. As the point attempt after. We're waiting to hear or to see what that's going to entail. Fourth game, fourth, uh, fourth quarter in that game, late in the fourth. Going to fake it to T-Ball, gets there across it to Brandon Hall, gets it behind him. Whoop, great whoop. call by or great catch by Hall as he reaches behind him to catch that. Man, you see those linemen yes. coming down to get him a – Get, get them, them some a, more. Get them yeah. some easy pickings down there. And, yeah. uh, you know, they they won't give up on a play. And uh, they see somebody down there they can still hit. That's their job. They go down there and do it well. I watched uh, Briley's highlight reel. Mm -hmm. Did you see it from a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. Somebody's blocking and he just walks over and goes, bam, mm -hmm. just knocks them over. It's fun. Potter, with all kinds of time, is going to get flushed out of the pocket. And he's uh, going to get hold it down. No. But we're going to have a hold. Yeah. Yep. Got a hold right here on the edge. I saw it happen. But T.J. Gray stayed with the play yep. and tried to get open. Great job by quarterback receiver. Didn't really need to hold right there, but they got they caught him. Would somebody please go take the official's flag away from him? <laughs> we just want we want it when when they call him on us. I appreciate a fair game, but sometimes you just gotta just let it go. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? <laughs> sometimes you just gotta. Hey, we need to get home tonight. You're not making any more money by throwing <laughs> flags. They ain't worried about us, there's not, bro. There's not commission for throwing a flag. <laughs> they ain't worried about us. So, 42.8 seconds left in the third quarter. So, a Liberty Yalo across town is almost done with their game. They're, yes. they're a quarter ahead of us. So, going to be ball on the carry. He does a great job to mm -hmm. get about, five about yards. half of that penalty yardage back. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to bring up second down and 15. Tell you what, if he's healthy, I think he might score on that. Mm, man, I'm, I'm telling you, there's a difference of speed out there with him right now for sure. But it allows Johnson to get some. Hand it off once again up the middle. And uh, I love I love the yardage after first contact. Mm -hmm. He just keeps leaning it forward. Going to check out of the game as Johnson's going to check in. Brings up third down and three. And that's going to do it for the third quarter where White House leads Texas High 26 to 21. You don't want to go anywhere, folks. It's going to be an exciting fourth quarter. We'll be back right after this. You've spent years working hard to create your financial security. Reward yourself with a checking account designed specifically for you by a bank that shows you the outstanding level of customer service you deserve. With State Bank's Elite Checking, you can qualify for a competitive rate of interest, no monthly service fee, free checks, and superior customer service. Let State Bank be your bank for service, relationships, and living life to its fullest. Texas A&M University Texarkana has brought the excitement of college athletics to your hometown. Our student athletes come from right down the street, across the country, and around the world to compete in tennis, soccer, basketball, baseball, softball, cross country, and volleyball. Come cheer on the Eagles and experience the action-packed thrill of TAMUT Athletics. For scheduled information, visit TAMUT Athletics on Facebook or visit www.tamuteagles.com. We are back here at Tiger Stadium as we begin the fourth quarter. Texas High Trails 26 to 21. Unusual territory for this team. Potter back to pass. Oh. He's got TJ Gray on the slant route, and it's going to be just short of the Ooh, first down. Get it. He may have enough with forward progress. Ooh, it's going to be close. There's no decision right there for Coach Stanford. He said, we going. Yep. Hand it off to go Johnson. Snap. Go straight ahead and snap. let's go. Snap. 
So Stanford's trying to get a first down as everybody's trying to look. Even Coach Harrell is trying to get over there and check it out. It won't reset the shot clock. Nope. So timeout, and they're going to try to get a measurement is what mm. Coach Stanford has asked for. Good call right there. Get him a play called. and It's called a free timeout. Yeah. That's what you call that. So that's experience. And it uh, looks like uh, – Still some rain coming down. Looks like L.E. just got Picked a one uh, off. turnover. Yeah. And so that may seal the deal for them. It's going to be fourth down. So it's going to be fourth down and short for the Tigers, and there's, there's no chance they're punting this. It's a, a big play. On a rainy night here at Grimm Stadium. Rain's slowed up just a little bit, but it's still wet out there. And uh, nobody's complaining about the rain because I'm going to tell you, we need it in this area. What are we doing, sure. throwing it deep right here? <laughs> um, no, I think you're going to hand it off straight up the middle to Johnson and get behind that O-line and said, hey, watch this. Our O-line's yeah, bigger than call, you. They're going to call a timeout. They see us loading up, and they're loading up, and they don't want to – they definitely don't want to jump. Yeah. So with 11-16 left here in the in the ball game, White House is going to take a timeout. As they have the lead. So across town once again, Liberty Ilo leads 35 to 28 late in the fourth quarter, and in the World Series, Phillies and Houston are tied, top of the seventh, as. Harper is up to bat with a 3-0 count and two outs with a man on first and second. Ooh. So that's the last one that you want to hit a home run because I promise you he can smoke it. Cross away, Arkansas High leads Hope 65-28 to with a couple of minutes left in the third. In the third. In the third. Arkansas High putting up some points. My alma mater. Go Hogs. Y'all all know what's wrong with Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Got Razorbacks all over me on my tooth, on my back. We'll just stop there. Yeah, we don't need to talk about any other body parts, Billy. <laughs> Here we go. Fourth right. down and in inches Come for on, the Tigers. Tigers. As going to get the play call. Read the defense. Going to be Potter in at quarterback. Going to hand it off to Johnson straight up yes, the sir. middle, and he's going to have plenty Atta for boy. the first down. And yes, it's sir. going to be he first and ten for the Tigers. He and got it. White House is screaming. They didn't. And Texas High is saying they did. He got it. He got it. Oh, no. So they're going to – some are saying they did. Some are saying they didn't. It's all about the angle you're looking you at it, Coach. To the, man, that's right on it. It is going to be really, really close. It's going to be based on the, on the spot – for sure. And uh, I think it might be by the nose. Don't stretch those chains. Don't stretch them. Yeah, but it's going to be close. And I'm going to tell you, if this is a stop, it's big for White House. And if it's a first down, it's big for Texas High. Big measurement right here. Is this going to be short? Wait a minute. First down. First down. Let's go. Get the index card out. Let's go, Tigers. First Big play and 10 right for there. the Tigers. Bell, we got we got 19 coaches on the field and 48 players. Can we get a flag now? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm gonna settle down. Yep. Here we go. Uh oh, it's a sign. 11 11 left. 11 11. I'd just say we go 111 That's miles an hour right here. <laughs> That's right. First and 10 for the Tigers. After a question, we'll call mm -hmm. there by the measurement, but in favor of the Tigers for sure. No gain on the play, bringing up second down and 10. There wasn't any question to me. It was close. Been doing it all night. <laughs> <laughs> So, second down and 10 for the Tigers. 
I'm looking for at some point to run that slot going across the middle and him to break back out to the corner. Be wide open. Going to hand it off once again yes, to Johnson. Sir. Johnson's oh, going to get outside. Out He's going to break it free across the 20, and he is one man away from taking it to the house. Look like Joe Miller out there. The H-back gets a great block, and we got a replay on the screen. Watch 25, Joe Miller get around the edge and set this block right here and gets him 5, 10, about 13 more yards. And, uh, man, what a great play right there. Great call. So first down and 10 for the Tigers. Ball is spotted at the 19-yard line as Texas High is trying to punch it in to take the lead in this game once again as they trail 26-21 to 21 here in the fourth quarter. Potter's going to hand it off once again yes, to Johnson. Sir. Johnson's going to take it inside the 10-yard line down to about the, well, they're going to mark him down at the 10, just short of the first down, brings up second down Man, and inches. Another good seal on the edge uh, right there and allow him to get to the edge, and, and they got a defensive lineman down on the field right here. Yep, so we'll try to get a number for you. Looks like number 90-something, 90 99 maybe, 95. Yeah, it's going to be Markel Johnson, the defensive tackle, and it uh, looks like it might be just a cramp. And, uh, so, stretching him out a little bit. Just a cramp on him is a big cramp. Yes, sir. Just saying. So it looks like Liberty Ilo has uh, taken control of the lead as they've got a two-score lead, two-touchdown lead as they just block the extra point. And uh, Pittsburgh looks like they're going to run it back as it's going to be 30-41 to 41 mm. as he just gets in. Does a little dance. Yeah, it does a little dance after he gets hit. Do a little dance. Make a little. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I led you into that. Get down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> led you into that one. So, yep. Let's go, Tigers. Yeah. This is time it's right here. It's a family show, and Aren't Billy's you? leading us I'm into sorry. the wrong. Man. Boy, don't follow me, that's for sure. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Billy needs to come to Fields of Faith next time. Yep. Look at it. Going to be T-ball. Uh, is he's going to cut it back towards Look the inside. Look at him. He's not finished. Not finished. And oh, going to get it down it inside the five-yard line. First down. And going man. to be first and goal at the four. My man Joe Miller oh. out there. Three-yard line. Three-yard line. All right. My man Joe Miller out there setting some, some blocks on the edge for T-ball. Punch it in and got to have a defensive stop. Yes, sir. Let's get that, let's get that score first. Yep. 9.33 left here in the ball game. As Texas High is threatening to score once again. First and goal at the three. Going to hand it off the ball once again. Ball's going to yes, sir. dive across touchdown. the end zone. It's going to be got touchdown, it. Tigers. Let's go. I'm telling you, he smells that goal line. T ball, T, touchdown ball. And we're going to get the replay right here on the screen. This is the second time he's dove in like this. Yes. And oh, ground, great job. Ground calls the fumble. All he's got to do is once that ball gets – Parallel the to the plane. goal, across mm -hmm. the plane of the goal line, it's a touchdown no matter what happens after that. What we got going right here? So we're going to go for they two. Got, oh, I got, guys got me crazy over there. He's got a fourth down marker out there. So we're going to go for two yep, because it puts to get him up, up three. by. That's right. Being up two doesn't, doesn't get you anything right yep. here. Good call. So going to be ball once again in the backfield. Two receivers to his right, one to his left. Going to fake the handoff. And going to get it to – going to be intercepted. Of course, yeah. he can't get up and take it back, although he was excited. But I think there was a little miscue on that route there. But the point attempt is no good. But with 9.25 left here in the fourth quarter, Texas High takes the lead by one, 27 to 26. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere, folks. It's going to be an exciting finish. I ain't going anywhere. We are excited to announce here at Texarkana Emergency Center and Hospital that we have expanded our capabilities to better serve our community. As a hospital, we have the capability for inpatient services. After your outstanding emergency care, we can smoothly transition you into one of our new inpatient rooms that have telemetry monitors in every room to continue your concierge medicine care. While our patients continue receiving their care in their inpatient suites, we also make sure that your loved ones are taken care of with our outstanding facilities. 
Our added services include a procedure room and also the capability of MRIs. With our imaging, we are able to offer outpatient, inpatient, and emergency room, MRI, CT, ultrasound, and x-ray. We are honored by your support and look forward to serving all your future medical needs. And while we are away, the ensuing kickoff took place with McCoy uh, on the receiving end of that and going to bring it out just outside the 15-yard line. Ball will be spotted at the 18-yard line where White House will take over first and 10 with Lacey in the backfield along with Josh Green, who's played a great game for White House as he's going to fake it in mm -hmm. quarterback Good. keeper. And they're going to go back to that original offense that's worked for them. And it looks like uh, Lacey might be a little bit slow getting just up. Just got a cramp, uh, cramp or twisted his ankle. He said, they said, wait, we're going fast. Yeah. Just don't hand it off to me, coach. And so going to get the pass out to McCoy, who has uh, been a big part of this game and uh, going to have enough for a first down, and Hines just yeah, missed it. Yeah, you know, he didn't break down, and that's what you want to see a guy do. It's tough to tackle somebody when you're just trying to – go 100%, and he's giving it all he's got, but uh, if he'd just broken down, it'd been a lot easier right there. So, White House is down to their third running back. Jerron Williams is in the game as oh, Green holy. is back to pass and uh, going to get it outside. It's going to be Jackson on the reception. Great pitch and catch by the quarterback to the receiver. But it uh, sounded like we had a hold on mm -hmm. that. Did they call it? No. So, it brings up first down or second down and short going to be a high throw as the pass was intended for McCoy. And they're just doing these quick passes to get it away to take that defensive line out of the play mm -hmm. no doubt. Uh, of Texas High. So 828 left here in the ball game. Third down and two as White House looks to go fast. It's a big series right here. Oh. <sighs> So going to hand it off to Williams, and Williams is met in the hole. Uh, looks like by number 26 on the play. That's Tristan Powell. Tristan lowered the wood, but going to have enough for a first and 10. Tristan's our, our third string, uh, and I say third string. We've got a bunch of first string running backs, but, uh, but he's, he's uh, been in the role of a linebacker for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, with Donnie Grissom out, mm -hmm. we hated to see him to go out as he's a senior. Had a great career here at Texas High. Mm -hmm. Started as a running back, if you'll remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Williams on the carry Good once cut. again. And uh, tell you what, this third string running back, he can flat go. Mm -hmm. As he is a junior. Fresh legs wins ball games. Yes, sir. Especially in the fourth quarter. 7.40 left and handed it off to Williams. Oh, good tackle by Tristan right there. It'll be brought down from oh, behind. Dang it. Yep. See that that's what happens is the first guy doesn't get called right there. And uh Tim Austin gets a gets a shove after after he gets something and, and, and they get the second man and that's what they try to do. And that's what uh five was it's his intentions the whole time. Mm -hmm. Jackson was he instigated that and mm -hmm. jumped off and celebrated about mm -hmm. it. And so that tells you right there that they're I mean, it's part of their game plan. Absolutely. Heat of the moment, 15 yep. yards. It's, it's all right. And it's been all night long for both teams. Yep. I mean, we've seen more personal fouls and unsportsmanlike conduct, these kind of penalties all night long, and it's just been a sloppy game. So 7.35 left here in the ball game. Texas High leads 27-26 to 26 as they look to try to stop this White House offense is this offense has been trouble for Texas High tonight. Boom. As, uh, Williams Brandon is going to be run. Childs, please. Rung up in the backfield. Is this going to be second down and 12 after a loss of two you on the play? See right the replay. Here. Boom. Form tackle. And so right him like into the dirt. Lacey's going to be back in the game as Williams is going to go out after being introduced to Mr. Childs in mm -hmm. the backfield. Second down and long. How may we help you? So as we're inside of seven minutes. So both teams have got to be thinking clock management 
Oh, yeah, great job. Ian Kreit in the backfield hits, uh, hits Green's arm as he – as he's releasing it, and uh, the ball flutters out, and it was a big play on, on second down, and now, now it's a third down and long, but I'm guessing that uh, White House is in four-down territory. Childs had to come out because of his helmet. Uh, we're trying to get clarity on whether he has to come out or not. So he's asking. He can come yeah. back in. Yep. Good deal. So he's going to come back in, and which is kind of a free time out there for Texas High yeah. to get them a chance to kind of gather themselves. Here we play go. Big, big play right here, Eric. Yep. Play clock glows to 25 seconds. As third down and long for White House. Be surprised to see a quarterback draw. So we're going to go be Texas back to pass. Coming. And uh, Ian Crite on the pressure, and he's got a man. Oh, he pushed deep, us down. And it's nice going to be. Don't, 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 don't. No, no. Just celebrate with your team, and let's get, get yep. back to fourth down. we got a big fourth down and 12 coming right yep. here. So fourth and 12 as Texas High leads, 27 to 26, 637. Boy. And if you're at home, get on your feet, folks, because this is what high school football is all about in Man. the state of Texas. Their, their offensive Big night, guy. district championship on the line, Billy. This is why we call games right mm -hmm. here. Closest game we've been in in a long time Good as job. they try to draw them off sides. Discipline. Green has done a great job leading his offense tonight. He's back to pass. It's fourth down, and it's going to be overthrown, Ugh. and it is going to be – Go over on downs as Texas High is going to take over with six and a half minutes left here in the ball game. Good defense over there. <laughs> good defense we're by number call five. It, Absolutely, Tim Austin. We're going to call it good defense. <laughs> they've, been, they've been picking on him all day. It does a great job there. Comes up a little bit gimpy, but, hey, we'll take it. I think I called Josh Stewart Tim Austin earlier, but uh, – Tigers are going to take over, look for a steady dose of the run. If we can coach Harrell and keep them big guys up there leaning. I promise you they're going to be leaning a little bit harder now as Johnson's in the backfield. Going to hand it off to him as he's going to take it straight up the middle. And uh, he's going to have a gain of three yeah. on the play. Brings up second down and seven. And if you're Stanford and Texas high, you're going to keep the clock rolling as much as you possibly Listen, can. What's uh, If you get three yards of play – you hit your head on the goal post eventually, right? Yep. Yep. And you run the play clock Absolutely. down as much as you possibly can, but yet you've got to be in the rhythm of your offense as well. So you can't just stand around as much as you want to as they are, and it's going to be Johnson once again as he's going oh, to bounce it outside. Job. And uh, Good job. Good run. Oh, they're going to get him out of bounds, but Bradley Barron keeps, keeps his body on somebody, and, and Johnson cuts right off of him, and uh, T-Ball's coming back in. Yeah, going to bring up third down and two on the play. And once again, this is a big play for Texas High as well as White House with 5.51 left here in the ballgame. Yeah, if you're White House, if you, can, if you can force a punt after what happened last time, you know, it's wet. The guy's snapping the ball deep. Boy, big, big play for the Tigers right here. This is why Coach Toon practices with a bucket of balls in water. Going to yes, hand it sir. off, and he's free. Go, T-Ball. He's across go the 50, 45, go 40, 30. Oh, they're going to get a, hold a right holding here. as T-Ball is going to score, but it's going to be a holding right back it's here. It's going to be a should, first down, though. Should be a spot foul. On danger field on the edge. Man, he's – I don't know. He grabbed him. Take that ball back to him, T-Ball, and let's do it again. You got a first down. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Tigers. Clock will run. So 539 left here in the ball game. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. There's no telling what you're going to hear out of Billy <laughs> Lavender. Spot foul. First down. I'll tell you, I like this, this crew. They're... Uh, you know, I, I can I can see a lot more than they can up here, but uh, but man, they hit this uh, this head referee will he'll he'll explain everything like an open hand to the face. Yep. 
Open slap. What was it? Open hand slap. Open hand slap. First time I've heard it explained. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. We're going to leave it as that. Yeah. So, Ball, once again, is going to try to dance outside. He's going to have a second down and nine after a gain of one. Clock continues to run inside of five and a half minutes. Well, we've had a good game here tonight. Yeah. 27-26, and it's not over. Not over whatsoever. So, Texas High, they could punch it in. It, put them ahead by eight with the extra point. Uh-oh, they found some keys. Somebody done lost their keys. So, good run, ball. good run, Once again, as he crosses the tee, he's going to get across the 45-yard line. All the way out to the 47, maybe. And so going to be third down and another big four. Call it three as we're inside of 445 and if I keep saying the time, it's just because you got to be conscious of that as you're trying to run this clock down and manage the clock and manage the game. Both teams have two timeouts left in the half. How about the quarterback, David Potter, on Man. a cold night? Man. Going short sleeves, no sleeves. Cold, wet night. Yes. Oh. Ball tries to bounce it outside, yeah. and it's going to bring up fourth down for the Tigers. Going to have to punt here. Yep. Coach Stanford may run it down and then – Take a timeout mm -hmm. to get as much time off the mm -hmm. clock as he possibly can. Punt team. I don't know if he wants to burn, burn a timeout here. I think he just wants to punt. Just burn a little clock. Yep. Make him think a little bit. Make him think. I like the ball boy going out there and telling him, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nice job by the ball boy to get get it out there and great, great punt, punt by Trusty. Trusty, and it's going to be get it. it's going to roll oh. down to the to the end zone, and it's going to be three thirty five left here in the ball game as White House is going to try to win the ball game on this drive. Yeah, Billy, they're, they're this gonna, is what in, everybody paid for. They're on the twenty, and they're in four down territory already. Yeah. So, and other scores as we mentioned earlier. Uh, Liberty Ilo beats Pittsburgh, comes back from behind, wins 41-30. to 30. And DeCab is going to fall to Hooks, 28-24, to 24, as Hooks is going to be district champs uh, in that district. So congratulations to the Hornets over there. And it's going to be our friend Brian Bolt is sending messages, said he's listening. I wonder if he's watching. That. He also said great job, so maybe he's not listening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably just watching. He's got it on his big screen in his shop yeah. with his fire going. Yeah, toddy. Yeah. Cigar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hope the kids are in bed, folks. <laughs> Billy Lavender has made an appearance. <laughs> so here we go, second down and three. Inside of three minutes as it's going to be almost intercepted as C.J. Brown had a beat on that ball. Yeah, we're sitting back knowing what's going to happen, and it's the ball's wet. And uh, CJ's not a receiver. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's a DB. Yeah. But you I know think what DBs are? What Receivers are that can't catch. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, good job there, uh, Brown, for uh, knocking it down at mm -hmm. least. So, three minutes exactly here in the fourth quarter. Third Texas down. High leads 27 to 26. Third down. If you're White House, you're looking to get a first down just to – Extend the drive as they're going to hand it oh, off. Great and job, And Williams B. is Childs. going to be brought down in the backfield as the press box man. is going wild up here. So, folks, if you hear extra activity oh, tonight, it's going to get fun. Brandon Childs, that's his second big play on, on consecutive drives in the backfield and, uh, and making a great tackle. So, we appreciate Mr. Bolt for watching. As it was the battle of the bridge across town, and Arkansas High wins that battle. Fourth down. Hope. This is big so play. Play of the game. Down, fourth down and five right here as low snap. Timeout. And before the snap could get off, Time we have out, a timeout Texas on the play. We're going like to take it. a short break. Don't go anywhere, folks. 226 left. It's going to be the most exciting two minutes of football you've ever seen. We'll be back. Life is busy. 
and we get it. The State Bank mobile app was designed to make banking more convenient for you. Check account activity, make transfers, pay bills, and manage your debit card in a snap. You can deposit checks from the convenience of your home or wherever life lands you. The State Bank app lets you organize your accounts, manage alerts, and easily email our customer service experts. Now that you have State Bank at your fingertips, you can spend more time doing what's important to you. Your family, your bank, State Bank. Big play right here, play of the game. Tiger Band playing loud. Fourth down and five as the crowd is on their feet with umbrellas in hand as it's raining here. 2.26 left, and this is for the ball game. You got my hair on my arm standing up, Eric. As they try to draw them off sides. Texas High leads by one, disciplined by that Texas High defense. Texas High not sell out. Over. Yes, sir. Oh, Alex. Haven't got him down yet, and he's going to. Out of bounds. And he's going to be out of bounds. Oh, my gosh. And they're going to call on. him in bounds. You've got to be kidding me. Replay if we can. Unbelievable. And it's going to be first down and 10 called wow. by the officials, and I've got to disagree with that call to be Must. real honest with you. Throw the red flag. <laughs> that guy jumped up, went out of bounds, and landed out of bounds with the ball. Yeah, his foot was not down. It looks like he was clearly out of bounds. Wow. Man, Alex Hines had the quarterback sacked in the backfield. I love the sellout defense uh, on that play. But uh, but here we go. We got new life, 216. First gonna, down for Whitehouse. First down and 10, 216 left here in the ball game. Texas High leads by one. Green back to pass. He's going to be flushed out of the pocket. Can't get he's going to him. try to get it to... Uh, looked like number two on the play, Wilson, but uh, just couldn't get it out as he's flushed out of the pocket. Tack one black, uh, getting out there and forcing that, that throw to be short. Pleasant Grove played last night, beat North Lamar 55 to nothing, and uh, our friend Jay Davis is watching us tonight. Appreciate Absolutely. you joining us on in. On the big screen. Yeah, man. Got a fire rolling. Yeah, must be nice. Yeah, mama bringing him some drinks. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. <laughs> With marshmallows, I promise you. <laughs> so here we go, second down and 10. Green back to pass. He's got a man open and uh, oh, man. tried to break it up there, but going to be run out of bounds as Wilson on the reception. And uh, if you're White House, that's a great completion and a big completion as we go to 2.03 left here in the ball game. Man, Tez had him. Uh, he had great great coverage on him, but uh, but really good catch by, by White House. And uh, their receivers have caught the ball really well on a wet game. So third down and short after the reception. Williams up the middle, and he's going to have enough for the first down as the clock's going to stop, and Alex Hines grabs that knee. He's back uh, up. But he's like, I don't care. It's my senior year. We're going to play. I've done enough mm -hmm. knee surgeries as it is. Mm -hmm. So here we go. First down and 10 as White House is on the drive trying to put it away from Texas High. Got a man deep as he's going for Jackson. Oh. Jackson's got the catch. He's going to cross the five. Touchdown with a minute 40 left here in the ball game. Mm, that was a tough one right there. Swam to get, get open and, uh, and man, a perfect throw and a perfect catch and White House goes up. There's a minute 40 left and David J. Potter's warming up on the sidelines. So a minute 40 left. Takes White House takes the lead 32 by five, to 27. so they'll go for two. And they're going to bring the center in to try to, as he's going to come on, he's got knee, God. looks like his knee's hurt. Man, mine's hurt just watching him yeah. run out there. Mm. Tigers have one timeout left. It's a big play. So as they go for two, as we wait the two point conversion. Minute 40 left. Green back to pass. Oh, nice Ball's going to be batted down. And so with that, it's going to be a five-point game, 32-27 with a minute 40 left as Texas High will get the ball on the kickoff. Wow, Billy, what a game. 
Never Man. expected this tonight. Here's the thing, and, and I hate to go back to this, but uh, whoever the line judge or side judge is on the other side, that guy jumps up, catches the ball, and lands all four limbs outside the white. And uh, for some reason, they they gave him the catch, and uh, it uh, it turns out to bite us in the bohiney, whatever yep. you want to call it. Uh, but but there's still a minute 40 left, and, and it's uh, – District's on the line right here, and uh, here we go. Well, while we got a break in action as we wait on the kickoff, I want to invite everybody to go watch The Blind, uh, Brian Bolt's new show. And uh, they got over 9,000 views so far. Good, and uh, What would it be like before the weekend if we could get that thing to 10,000 views? And I mean, so, by us saying that, it ought, to, it ought to jump up right mm -hmm. there. So we have, congratulations on a great start to a great show. It's a hunting show. They display all kinds of hunting gear, so uh, go check it out. The Blind, right there on Facebook and YouTube. So as we wait for Benson on the kickoff, looks like it's going to be a pooch kick uh, on this as they try to kick it high, and you better go get it. Calls for a fair catch as Brandon Hall calls can't for run. that. Can't run. Can't, can't run. run as he's just trying to get out of the way. Can't run. But you can't and, tackle uh, him either. <laughs> so going to be – So it'll be at the 30-yard right. line. It looks like we got a man down on the. That's Tim. Uh, it'll be Powell, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Tristan. Yeah, I yeah. keep let's say Tim. So Tristan Powell, he's gonna. Looks like he got hit. He's holding his All arm right. or his stomach or something. Seventy so here we yards go. away. Minute 37. Seventy yards away. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why the clock ran three seconds, but uh, but we should get those three seconds back if it's a. Uh, so you got a minute 37, and uh, i got to say, with the pass interference calls tonight, you've got to throw it uh, yeah. quite a bit here. Obviously, you got to get 70 yards. And I look for uh, them to drop eight. Oh, and it's it's pouring rain. Yep. <laughs> it's truly a perfect storm. Yep. So here we go, folks. Minute 37, district championship on the line. Texas High Trails 32-27. to 27. First and 10, ball is at the 30-yard line. Going to get it to T.J. Gray, and it's going to be batted down with a minute 32 left. Great defense by Whitehouse on that play. Man, I'll tell you, the, the worst part of the storm is hitting right now, and it's it's the worst time for it. Those ball boys are going to keep these balls uh, dry and, uh, and and try to get uh, get some connections from Potter to these, uh, these receivers. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little screen pass out of the backfield, the ball right here. So minute 32, second down and 10. As Texas High is trying to get it down the field, going to be. Go, David. Go, David. So David's got a man, and, and he's going to try to get out of bounds and hustles to get out of bounds. And TJ could have held on to that block. And Whitehouse does a great job by getting away from him. Good job by David J to scramble and get out of bounds right there and get us some yards and put us in third down five. That's the. Uh, that's the fastest I've seen him run all season <laughs> long. So third down and five, obviously going to be four down territory from here on out with a minute 24 left. And uh, if you're watching at home, your nerves are probably about like Billy and mm -hmm. I's. Just never know what's going to happen here as you got a good catch, good pass be a first right there. down, first and first 10. 10. First and 10 as uh, Dangerfield on the reception. Get Clock to the line. stops with the first down, Get minute to the 19 line. left. No, it shouldn't shouldn't start till they set the change. So it's going to be uh, first down and 10 as Texas High wasting a We're lot of time set. to get, get to the set. line. Potter's back to pass once again. He's got a man deep, and he's going to go for T.J. Gray, and Gray's oh. going to go up, and it's going to be broken up. And uh, – it's going to be second, second down. down and 10 with 58 seconds left here in the ball game. Man, it is coming down out there. So we say district championship on the line as Texas High will go to Pine Tree next week. If they were to not be able to pull this out, White House would have to beat Marshall to be the district champs because next week it could be two losses for them and one for Texas High, uh, barring something Tremendous happening against Pine Tree. Uh, and then they would still be the district champ. So a lot on the line for this game mm. tonight. So going to be a false, false start. start. Will that be a 10-second runoff? Yes. 
Inside of two uh, minutes. Actually, uh, no, it won't because the clock wasn't running. Yep. If it was running, there would be a 10 You're correct. Runoff. You're correct. Let's get a different ball out there. Need to break a big one, Eric. Need to break a big one. Need something. So 56 seconds left here in the ball game. Texas High, second down and 15. Ball is spotted at the 36-yard line. Screen. Potter back to pass. He's going to roll out to his right. He's looking for a man. He's got TJ, uh -oh. and it's going to be intercepted. And, folks, that's going to be the ball game tonight as Texas High is going to fall to White House. Dang. That's all right. It's the, going to be the first district loss in Two to three years. That's going to be after the interception. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that wow. is an explanation. Not making the football readily available. Well, it was a big night. It was a it was a build up, and and it's gonna. It's going to go down and it's going to hurt. But, uh, you know, sometimes these things can, can make you uh, a little bit stronger. Uh, and uh, and, and I, I look for, uh, you know, Tex High didn't play a clean game, but uh, they'll, they'll bounce back and, and have a good week of practice and, and go on the road and, and get this ship righted. Yep. Long and time since we've lost in this stadium. And I'm just going to tell you this. It's a big win for White House, mm -hmm. but they got a game to play oh, next yeah. week because I'm telling you, Marshall is no slouch. Yep, no doubt. Marshall's is a great team, and so they don't even know how to get in the victory formation. <laughs> so, <laughs> but congratulations to White House on a great game tonight. Kept it close all night. Offense, great, great game plan by the coaches. And uh, so going to be a timeout on the play with 46 seconds left. I don't know. Couldn't get set. That's a tough one. Good crowd stayed till the end, and yep. student section was rowdy till the end. Band. Hmm. Just so you know, it's my first loss in the booth. Oh, it ain't over yet. Kind of hurts a little bit. It ain't over yet. <laughs> it ain't over. Need a bad snap right here. Yeah. So. 32, 27, 46 seconds left. Texas High is one timeout. They're not going to call it. Yeah. Going to have to down it once again. And if you're the clock operator, sometimes you just, you know, hey. They got to snap it again. I don't think oh, they realize they reset, that. they reset the shot clock. Oh, okay. Well, folks, that's going to do it for us tonight on this rainy night. Congratulations to White House on the big win for their program. And uh, Billy, great job tonight. Man, it was it was fun. I don't I don't like to lose just like everybody else, but uh, but the kids played tough and and uh, and and fought till the end, and it just didn't didn't tilt our way. Yep. So. And uh, as far as the district championship, hey, that's a step in the right direction for White House. But I'll tell you this, it's not over till mm -hmm. next week's game. That's and right. So uh, got a big game on the road next week as they'll play Marshall and uh, Texas High will travel to Longview to play Pine Tree. Folks, we hope you have a great weekend and a safe weekend. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We got 20 minutes to get out of the stadium. <laughs> have a great evening. Go Tigers.